No talking during the music. Talking, 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 dun, talking. Dun, dun. I like when we talk. Dun, dun, dun. We don't talk in the outro. Dun, dun. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. Do you like my air guitar? Dun, 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 dun. Bow, bow. Ooh. Hi, everybody. Hola. How goes? Como esta? Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> Sit down, make yourself comfortable. That was weird. Yeah, it was. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. How much espresso did I have today? I've had 14 cups. Good thing it's 10 a.m. I know. I'm all I, hopped up on caffeine. But I started at 9.50. Death Wish coffee. Oh, is it good? It's my face, bro. So when is Death Wish going to be part of the podcast, sir? Uh, I, on, on I, I probably should ask them. Yeah, could we? Good thing could I we, had three bags of coffee in my freezer. <clears throat> I wonder if we can ask our crack research staff. Sure. To send an email to the... To the Death Wish? To the Death Wish and be like, hey, Charles Bronson, bro. Yeah. My, their, 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 their spinoff brand is my favorite. Valhalla Java. Valhalla Java? Valhalla Java. That sounds amazing. Death Wish is my second favorite. Is it served cold? You can do cold brew. You, they do have a cold brew offering. Because Valhalla yes, is ice, isn't it? Isn't that their... Is, that's their heaven. No, Valhalla is there. Viking heaven. Has Viking nothing to do heaven, with ice. Bell, no, yes, no. I'm talking about the Viking hell. Remember we had the conversation about certain... Reli- where how religions are like in the desert where like Judaism and Christianity came up. Hell is like super hot because it's like unbearably hot there. And in Viking lore, their hell is frozen. I wasn't aware so of that. The coldness. I don't recall that conversation. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's how that that's My how my therapist said I how should the brain, block those things out. It's one again how the brain works with the okay. humanity and building a religion. Well, we're coming off that other religion one, the freedom of. So, are you, well, are you tickling the balls with your hands I, there? Slightly, man. I'm glad this isn't on <laughs> video anymore. It's so much better. No, I like the video, but it's <clears> fine. Well, I think we're going to go back. Once we get, we're going to need some funding. So funding. Uh, Twitter World. So need Dear help Death Wish Coffee. Dear Death Wish please Coffee. Please give us coffee and cash. Sponsor please us. Give us one camera to which we can attach our Rodecaster Pro and not make it look like shit like the other videos did. Yes. Don't or make it like look shit. like shitty Don Francisco's coffee. Make it look like. Ooh. Yeah, Don Francisco's is poop. Is that shit? Yeah, it's, it smells amazing. And then you drink it. And you're like, it goes into the trash. Then you make Death Wish, and you're like, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. What is it? Is it just smooth? It's highly, it's like double caffeinated. That's why it's called Death so Wish. So it's like Jolt. It's like Jolt Cola It's Jolt for Cola for of for the coffee. coffee. For coffee. However, the issue is that it's incredibly strong, but it's not bitter. It's smooth. That's why I love it. I, I'm going to Is that this. it's great, It's and it's all organic. And since we're having an infomercial about Death Wish, what, how, where can you find such The Amazon. How, what's the coffee price, sir, per it's pound? It's $15 a bag. A bag. Is it a pound? A 16 ounce bag? I believe bag it's a 16 12? ounce. Okay. So that's a pound. Well, 15 bucks a 12 pound. ounce. That's legit. And it's that's sold Starbucks in all Kroger's is. as well. Oh, even better. But and they more? have K cups and they more have. more money or same? Uh, no, it's about the same. About the same. Yes. Nice. Yeah. But they don't have a two day prime and you can stay in your underwear. Correct. And uh, well, the, I guess what you can go to Safeway in your what underwear. What I super love about them is when you order on Amazon, you like if you order a two pack. Like if you order one Death Wish and one Valhalla Java, are we going to edit this out? You get no. stickers. Are we going to edit this out? See, Mita. I want stickers. Mita, We're gonna t- Mita okay. the sticker. Okay. See, Death Wish Coffee is on my Nalgene. Ladies and gentlemen, Boom. Death Wish Coffee is on Mr. Woodsy Peralta's, uh, his uh, my Nalgene. Nalgene canteen. So he's going to take a picture of that and tweet that out later today? Yeah, after, sure. After, I'd after love we to. record? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we need to Go engage. Go team Death Wish. Sir. Okay. And I love Death Wish Coffee. I've like never had it and followers, I love it. It's delicious. Yeah. I... I don't know how, and I'm very grateful. Oh, shit. I forgot your birthday present. Oh, no. Poop. Oh, I'm so angry. Look. Poop. Raw. Poop. Poop. Yeah, he put it right there by my keys, I'm too, I'm angry, man. bro. Look at how angry I am. Oh, I guess I'll we'll do it Wednesday, man. It's cool. So, can I finish? Can I finish? Please. Can I finish? I'm can so I finish? Sorry. Can I finish? I'm sorry for hijacking your podcast. Yeah. The one thing I hate is being interrupted. <laughs> Like, you're the only person of the two of us that can make that claim that being interrupted angers me. Because you say you're silent, but you're the silent Bob, and I'm the fucking Jay. Snickety snick, bang, 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 do, 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 do. And you're all, a Jedi not needs these things? Yes. Or, I'm sorry, Death Wish Coffee is good. Back to you, Frank. Back to you. So, um, I don't think we're going to edit this out, man. Because okay. this, this is what it's all about. It's a conversation. Yeah. And maybe death. someone at Death Wish is like, these guys are really awesome, man. We should be on their podcast. That's exactly how they sound. How'd you know that? Bro, I don't... Because that's how everybody sounds in my head. Okay, cool. Everybody sounds like a surfer or checkmark. 
Yeah, bro, what's up? Nothing. It is far too looking for surfboard, please. And Death Wish Coffee. And Death Wish Coffee. So um, one of our one of our larger fans, she was feeling a little under the weather the last couple of weeks, but she's on the upswing. So yeah, I'm glad, glad to, to hear that. that. That's glad great. Hear that. Thank you very Yay. much. And tested negative. For, Yay. for the for the big C. Also Tambian. I mean, how many were, how many fucking diseases can be the big C? Uh, apparently two. At least two. Well, three. Until we have a COVID twenty well, twenty one or chlamydia. Oh shit, that's three. <laughs> By the way, there's an H. Conorrhea. In chlamydia. Yeah, but it's C H. It starts with a C. It's a silent H. Is it H C? It's not H C. I, I don't know, dude. It's it starts. with I a. thought it was C L A Midia. <laughs> I, I swear to God. I think it's C-H-L-A, like chalamidia. Ch- Ill regardless. It's large amongst the Jewish chlamydia population. Chlamydia is much lower on the C disease list. Well, look, just like Crohn's disease affects. Oh, I, oh, I forgot Crohn's disease. That's K, though. Crohn's is a C. Oh, I'm, I was way it's off. Also, oh, my gosh. Also, it affects the Jewish community, but so does chalamidia. I think it's chalamidia is what it's called. It's a silent C. It's chalamidia. You can make French toast out of it. You can break bread. You know, Passover. <laughs> I've got chalamidia. What is this? So, I'm schwitzing. So uh, 10 minutes in, we have not said a goddamn thing worth of relevance. But it's been pretty fun. But it's been fun. We're about five minutes in anyway, because we record way earlier. The only thing we edit are the beginning and the end. We don't edit the middle. Somewhere. We don't edit when we talk over the intro <clears throat> music? We definitely do not, don't do that. But we will not talk over the outro music. We've we've committed to that the last few podcasts. I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah. I was unwillingly committed. Boom, I hit. Yeah, you Bro, the things I do to you in this room that you without your consent that you don't know about. What? Bro, you have Is no that idea. Why I was walking funny? Uh-huh. Oh dear Jesus. Uh-huh. Why do you have a weird gait, sir? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> You're waddling. Are you mo- <laughs> I, are you moseying or I did someone violate waddle, you? Dude, I'm not a small person. Are you moseying or did someone violate you, sir? All right. So today, yeah, is it beer Google's? Is yeah. this a Google's? I don't yeah, know. It's You're be, in charge. Right? We're going to talk about some of these apps. Yeah. So what's going on? Senior, super senior executive producer Mary once again came through. Yes, from the home office in Scottsdale, Arizona. From our home offices in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yes. And and what was the the question was what three apps on your smartphone that do not come preloaded on the phone, such as music, map, text, phone, etc., weather, w- what three apps can you not live without? To be clear, I, I would like to, when you said music, I want to be clear about a music player versus a music app. Well, right. Because I, you know, like iTunes. Right. Or the the Samsung. But that has like music that you buy. That is an app. But that comes standard on the phone. On an iPhone, it does. It does. But on uh, an Android phone. It does not? No, it comes with a music player. So you can have an MP3 file. Say you own music and it's digital, right? You own the digital music. You can play it on that player if you own it. But not like Spotify. See, Spotify to me is a different app. Even though it's a music app. It's got recommendations. I understand. And some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, so it's got yeah, other yeah. functionality. It's yeah. I want to try to keep it as basic as possible. I understand because some people can't live without Apple iTunes without well, iTunes. Right, but some people can't live without Spotify, for example. Yeah, they're, they're but not Spotify and the music app that comes standard on an iPhone are very different. Correct. But just because Apple integrated their pod, their their, their iTunes pod with ca- it, their it's iPod all integrated. Right, they into the integra- iPhone. They integrated their software and hardware into one. It's Correct. not a third party. Correct. So it's a little, that one's. That's when, why I was clear. Okay, when you but, turn on your iPhone, iPhone has, yeah. what's on it? Okay. But iTunes has a store and that adds functionality but that, that's, that Android lacks without an app. Mm-hmm. So, okay. We'll, we'll say in this case, Apple has an advantage in that, in that way. I'm I, cool yeah. That. I'm not familiar with Samsung. And, yeah. So, well, first of all, Apple's 40% of the market. So okay. Android consists of the majority of the market, even though a lot of people use Apple for music and podcasts because they were the first, right? They're okay. like innovators. I, the hardware at Apple <clears throat> pairs with software at Apple. However, it doesn't do it with Android. Okay. So, uh, please talk because I'm having a dry throat moment. Oh, my goodness, honey, baby. Um, it's, you have a very good point. I, I hadn't thought about that. The, 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 side, the, the Google... <laughs> The Google and the the Google phones and the other the phones besides the the iPhone, 
because obviously I'm not familiar with them. Well, we're going to have the rules. We're going to set the rules right now. So it's real easy. Phone. Am I? Yeah, I got something. I know. Yeah. Phone. Chlamydia. Text and like <laughs> maps and navigation for sure are covered. Now, d- like ways and maps, whichever one you use, I'm okay with. If you want to eliminate music, we can just say, yeah, music is covered. That way we don't have to worry about Spotify or or no, but Google Podcasts. See that, no, I like don't want to eliminate music. I want to eliminate the I, any app that comes standard on the phone. Okay. Am I allowed to put my feet on the desk? Absolutely, oh, that's sir. What I'm talking about right there. So bro. what what I like is the functionality of the phone out of the box to me is it has a player. Okay. Meaning if you. you have digital music already and it's on your phone, you can play it. But you can't download or access. It has to be on. You can copy your own music to the yes. player. Absolutely. Okay. Correct. Okay. So it will play music you own, yeah. but it won't play like iTunes music. Right. Because it's it's it's, dig, not it's copyrighted and all that correct. Has to go through the app, right? Correct. I understand. Cool. So we're pretty clear about that. So three apps that we absolutely must have. Can't live without. Correct. I'm throwing a curveball at you, sir. Oh dear lord. I don't hit those well. I have a top twenty top nineteen list. I'm not gonna go through all I'm them, sorry, how many? No 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 nineteen. <laughs> I wish oh we can't do that either. No. Damn it. You gotta find something. Did I get the hanger? You got it. Did I go okay? Mocos over there. It feels like it's still hanging. No, sir. It's lovely. <laughs> Maybe it's clear. I gotta Dude. stop. Uh, I guess I picked the wrong week to stop snorting coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sniff of glue. What was it? Lloyd Bridge, right? Sniffing, sniffing glue, glue, drinking. No, amphetamines. He does like eight of them. Yeah, sniffing glue is the one I always remember. I guess I just picked the wrong time to stop drinking scotch. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Oh, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. I missed you return. so very much. Hello, Twitter world. Does anyone like Ricky Schroeder's thumb? We need some Ooh, feedback. Me. I, do. Oh, I do. We do. I do so but much. But we need others to like Ricky Schroeder's thumb. All the strains. I have a Andromeda, feeling. Andromeda, Acacia, all that shit. Do you think we can do a Twitter rally with hashtag Ricky Schroeder's thumb? Yeah, but uh, there'll only be three of us. <laughs> so we're going to trend hey, in. We socially distanced. Ricky Schroeder's thumb needs a little tiny mask. Do you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? We're going to get, we're going to trend in Venezuela again. Yes, number six. Number six. Or six <laughs> downloads. Okay, so I don't know if you know this, but we also made it somehow. We made it, it was so fast that we made it onto and off of Nigerians list as well. Okay. So we ranked in Nigeria and Venezuela, but by the time I looked, we'd already fallen off both of those. How, what, what? It doesn't tell me. You don't know what ranking we were? No, because it. It gives you a ranking if you're ranked, but as you fall off, oh. you can look at the rank history, but then you have to give the create an account and do okay, all this so, okay. rigmarole. That's fine. I'm not I'm not doing that, my friend. That is another i I don't need more digital in my life. That must I'm wondering if that could be perhaps because I'm trying to be more social media conscious. And I think you are the key to all of this. I highly doubt that, but I appreciate your I don't I don't. Okay. It's me. Okay, I'll, we'll talk about that later. I had well, a, what works great about us yeah. is that we both think each other runs the roost. I don't even know what a not, roost is, Not runs dude. the roost, but you know what I mean. We're, we both think that the other's a linchpin, or the keystone, whatever What's you want to call roost? it. What's a roost? What's a linchpin? What are we talking I don't know. We're, we both think the other's more important, and yeah, that's what obviously. makes us great, because that's because we're both fucking kick-ass, bro. Kick-ass, bro. Give me some paw. Oh. All right. <laughs> So app time. So yes. how did you go? So we can only have three apps. Yeah. How did you go about this decision? Because I still don't have three. Um, I'm going to find come up with my last three, like last minute of this show. How did I come about this decision? I haven't because <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Because I don't. I don't think that there are three apps that I couldn't live without. I agree. Because there are... The apps that I like the best come with the phone, music and uh, weather and the map feature, the Apple map feature. The navigation is Yeah, ridiculous. I like that a lot, especially like if I'm going, hey, I'm going to go to some friend's house that's, they're 45 minutes away. Well, let me look and see if there's an accident on the way and should, is it going to detour me to save me 10 minutes? Or on the weekend is yes, a highway. Construction. We... Arizona or Phoenix is very highway motivated. Yeah. We have a lot. We basically have, it's kind of a thoroughfare for all different highways coming left, right around. Yeah. So they close a lot on weekends yes. for, you know, construction. Or yes. Paving. Or, or the lanes are reduced from four to two or six to three. balls. Yeah. Even and on then, a Saturday. Yeah. It's Especially not, on a Saturday. It's not fun. 
You got Saturday drivers and four to two. And with the weather changing, it's whatever. It, during we have the snowbirds coming down, oh, so it God. gets it gets clogged in the winter time. Winter is coming, and so are the <laughs> snowbirds. The snowbirds are coming. Fucking snowbirds, man! I totally forgot about that. Sorry. Harold, Harold, am I backing up? Okay, eat it. Get back here. That's what that sounds like. It, it was very season. accurate. Harold Needeth? Yes. Edith. They're so happy the marriage. 51 years. 51 years together. Oh, stop. Stop picking at that, Harold. Okay, honey baby. Eat it. I gotta. I gotta eat my snacks. Wow. Oh, um, was that Archie Bunkery? Yes. Enough? Yeah. Or what's his name? Carol Shelby? Carol. Carol Shelby's Carol the, White? Carol Shelby's the car guy. Yeah. What's what's this guy's name? I don't know. It's Carol something. Sure. He's an actor. Okay. Know. Sag. So to answer your question, I don't, I don't have, I think I could live without my phone actually. So I think I could live without all the apps. Well, that's you and I though. Yes, correct. But we're, we're doing a beer Googles and we looked up a bunch of apps that exist. Yes. And we also came to this because like, I'm sorry, this is a digital world. We, you and I come from a little more physical world. We like pen and paper as much as we hate to admit it. I always look for a pen and paper before I ever think about typing it into my phone. I mean, I may have been ch- now kind of change that over time but my first instinct is always back to physical yeah my grocery list is always um, on a on a post-it note really yeah or or costco yeah Very it's nice. always on a post-it note i always have to ask megzy to text me things because i can't write i don't have anything to write them down with which i can write them down why don't you use a notepad in your phone yeah that's so you're that's asking a, her to text you yeah why so don't you text, text yourself i don't want to text myself i don't want to do any work that's hot when you text yourself Oh, when I oh, when I sexed myself. Oh, like, hey now, I'm, I'm the like, hottest thing I'm ever. The, I'm so hard. I'm I, so wet right now. I was all over myself like a cheap suit. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. I was me. the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> it's probably true. <laughs> no, anyway, probably not true. Uh, right, what was the point? Uh, figuring out which apps you can keep, you right? Can, with which you can live. Oh, the the, I I am more. The only thing I write down now is is um, uh, is my grocery list. list. Everything else I put in my notepads, and I did survey some people, so we've got uh, 10 or 12 responses or so. Nice. And See, I can that's run what through, we need. I can run through those as well. So, so we, we can do the surveys first, or we can do those uh, 19 stupid ones first. I have a great idea. Please. And this only because I'm a genius. Yes, you are. You are a witch doctor. Duh. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do, uh, you give me your first person. Yeah. And then I'll give you a stupid fucking app. Okay. And we'll go onesie twosie. Onesie twosie crisscross applesauce. Oh, love uh, pork chops oh, and applesauce. God. Pork chops and applesauce. Clark Gaber. Man, man, man. Was that Brady Bunch? I, I think don't it was know. Peter. Pork chops and applesauce. Yes, it was. It was from Brady so, Bunch. So um, I'm wondering is, is this the response we're getting right now? Because we have not really gotten into this yet. We're 15 in. That's what always happens, bro. Yeah, but we love it. Because you know always happens. Hang out. I know. I like when it ends, like because I just have to push it and just keep going. Okay. See, now that I could put on my player. Yes, a digital file. A digital file. But I could not import. It doesn't have that functionality at its base, at its core. Yeah, I, I wasn't aware of the yeah. functionality oh, Android. of the Samsung. Android. Well, whatever. Android as a whole just doesn't. It just says operating system, so it's a little more open source, right? Oh, just like, okay. You know, just like uh, it's the PC of yeah, phones. Yeah, correct. So it Versus works on the that. MacBook of computers. Exactly, of phones. Versus the iPad of phones. Versus the iPad of iPods of phones. Uh, Versus the iPods of iPads of iPhones and iPhones, and iMacs and iPhones, and Mac iPhone Airs. I completely understand. <laughs> I get you so well, checkmark. <laughs> oh my god this, this is such a dumb surprise. so we have uh people gave you how many do you have i don't know 12 ish that's a beautiful number because that lets me go through 12 shitty apps uh <laughs> do you want me to count i'm just guessing no just go we'll start with the first one okay. and we run out we run out because i'm gonna go you know i'm blowing my load early with Whoa. these shitty apps and we will put the links up by the way for the apps that we found so you can download them yourself and okay. enjoy them well, a lot are of you them ready don't exist but anymore you ready Yes. Starting off, I had dinner the other night with Kent and Julie Johnson in town from Connecticut. Ooh, Connecticut. Uh, that has a C in it. That has two C's in it. That's three C's in it. 
dude, you're good at math and numbers and letters and alphabets. It took me three tries to figure out the connect. The kid has three. Yeah, but you get three strikes, so you're good. Oh, sweet. So yeah, so I only had two you strikes. got a base hit. Nice. Yeah. I got, a, I got a single. So you're batting a thousand, bro. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. So Julie said NOAA weather. What's National Oceanic and something? Aviation Administration, I believe it is, or? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to look it up, but. Okay. I, because you sprung that one on me, but considering we're pilots, sir, shouldn't we know what NOAA stands for? I'm just thinking. Uh, no. Really? National Ocean. National Ocean Atmospheric Administration. Atmospheric. They're the ones who put the uh, chemtrails in the... Oh, <gasps> Baphomet's, Baphomet's down. Baphomet's down. <laughs> Shit. I moved my foot and Baphomet oh, fell. This is what happens when you fucking put your feet up on the furniture, sir. Baphomet gets damaged. Well, good thing there's not a mom here to tell me, Christopher, get your feet off the furniture. I- I'm never going to do that to you. Shut up, mom. Do uh, you want me to keep going? After the weather well, is... Yeah, because we need all three of... of Ken, is it Kent or is it Kent, Julie? Kent's wife, Julie. Julie we, and, I, and Kent did actually, his Actually, we went to college together, but I don't think you ever met them. They graduated a year before you got there. I know Kent Johns. I know the yeah. name. That's why I'm familiar. They, married, they just had their 25th wedding. Yeah. Okay, that's he why... He scammed out of three, bro. Okay, Okay, I'm sorry. I don't fucking remember the history of fucking Gamma Iota. Why not? Because I was an outcast. You're not an outcast, bro. 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 Hey, at Bro. least you're my outcast. Mira. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After that shit. Uh, uh, the truth is I just outcast myself, bro. It wasn't anyone else but me. <laughs> just to be clear. A lot of people love you, dude. I love Stop you. Stop it. Next is flight aware. So is Julie a pilot? Uh, I don't know what her degree was in. They both or, they both work for Sikorsky Oh Sikorsky helicopter. Yes. Oh my god, maybe checkmark get a tour. Free tour for checkmark, please? You, no, you can have a job, bro. Is Ken Johnson going to give checkmark free tour? No, free job. Free job is Sikorsky. Yes. I want also Kalishnikov. Kalishnikov Sikorsky together. What's what's the f- what? The AK forty seven. Oh, you want a gun. <laughs> That's a Kalishnikov. A- the K part is Kalishnikov. Okay. Does not start with C. Starts with K. <laughs> It's not an AC-47, it's AK-47. It's AC-47. Okay. Well, very cold, air conditioning. Ooh, 47 <laughs> degrees. Ooh. Right? It's like a freeze ray. Unless that's Celsius, it's super I, hot. That's not even a freeze ray, 47. It's just a cold ray. It's just chilly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a non-bomby it's ray. It's a chilly concarni ray. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Julie uh, allegedly wants flying things, because National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, flight aware. Aware. What does flight aware do, sir? I think that's to check your flight status and... You can't live with... How, oh, how much travel does she do? I don't I, I, I don't know. Or maybe Kent does a lot of travel. Yeah, I don't know. So you're constantly looking to see who's coming or if you have yeah, a lot of visitors? And, yeah. Okay. I, I can see it as like not one you yeah, can't live you, without, if but... if you travel for work or let's say you're gone every other week, I, I get that. I, I think that's really... Cause especially it's so up to date and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So... Well, for us, what's really important... It's not just three we can't live without. Like, we're going to choose three. I can live without everything, right. to your point. But I'm going to pick three anyway. These are as good as any. What's the third one? Waze. Waze. But that's kind of the one we're talking about. That one's already included. It's, no, Waze is not included. It's not, but it's part of the navigation. It's an enhanced Waze navigation. Is, it's its own. I, I, I mean, I've only used it once, but... I know people that love that shit. Yes, because you can it's you can like, get directions in the voice of Mr. T. Oh, like, really? I didn't. I pity fool. Turn left, fool. I, yeah. I knew Mr. T was on an app, but I didn't know it was Waze. It's that one. Okay. Yeah. But I, I've heard that Waze is very, like, more intelligent than any other GPS because it's it is. more real-time, more up-to-date, and it gives you better directions on where to go and how to get there and all this shit. Is that accurate? There are three levels that I count this. We talk about us giving our privacy away without a problem, right? We just... Yeah. And it oh, sucks. God, here we go. Well, Apple is the most protective. Kudos to Apple for at least trying to protect your data. Now, they're doing it in their own... What's that called? Uh, data? Oh, man. Are you going to do this again? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every single time. And I'm snagged on something. Your soda... Ugh. The Ugh. mouse. So anyway. Um, You're too far from the thingy. So when it comes to protecting your privacy, you also lose the sharing of information mm-hmm. from other people. Mm-hmm. So Apple Maps or whatever the fuck you use, I'm shocked that you love that because it's the worst of all of them. Not because it's a bad program, 
but because the privacy inhibits the sharing of other people's information onto the network. Okay, understood. Google Maps is very good as well because it does take your information, right? So it knows you pretty well because it tracks everything. Google, yeah. Google's nasty. Waze does that too by allowing that information. It's really good at picking up, oh, it, this guy reported a traffic cam or this, you know what I mean? And then it shares the data amongst so the So everyone that uses Waze... Gathers that information and, and kind of in an AI way, it it so okay. Let, let it enhances its own programming by the information put in by an end user at any time. Okay, so I go by a guy. Uh, I'm going to Vegas, right? Yeah, and they move the speed traps on y the road. Yeah, I know. I just drove by one and I put a little ding. I can actually, I believe, you can make like mark that there's a speed trap there, and that then goes out to everyone. Letting everyone know that's on that road. That's on that road. Well, anywhere. Or, no, if you, it's on the map itself. Yes. So, like, it goes onto their server for that time. Yeah. Until it changes. Of until course. somebody updates it. Right. But Apple doesn't have a feedback feature. I don't think. Yeah. So it doesn't. But that's to protect you. Right. But with that, the system's not as good. Right. So that's what we. It's a convenience versus our privacy. Once again, it comes down to that. Especially with apps. Apps are all about data mining and getting your buying habits and your contacts and your bullshit. Yes. So I do like Waze. I've heard really good things about Waze. It's probably the best navigation app out there. I use Maps. I'm I've heard that Waze is the best as well. And I would say Apple Maps and Google Maps are the the base ones yes. in Android and Apple. Okay. Waze is a third party, but I, I, was, I was considering that as part of navigation. But I get it's an app, so... She has her three. And so she wants to fly and drive is basically all she wants. Yeah, to. transportation. <laughs> She's like going to be the secretary of transportation? Yes. When uh, Kamala gets... Uh... Yes, she's going to get appointed. So, but there were several other people that also, uh, like, that had ways on their list. Absolutely. So obviously it was, it was a popular choice. It's a great choice. It is so. really probably the best app of all. Because it's, as a tool, it's the most beneficial to any. Yeah, especially if you're on the road a lot. Like, let's say you've got a 45-minute commute to work. Or you go, oh, hey, I go see my mom twice a week, and she's 40 minutes away, or blah, 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 blah that kind of crap. If you're, on the, if you're in the car a lot, that's got to be super useful. Yes. Especially, and like you said, if people, are, if people are vigilant about updating stuff, oh, hey, there's a new light here. Oh, hey, they lowered the speed limit. Oh, blah, 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 there's, a, there's an accident. If people are good about that stuff, that's got to save you so much time. And they are good about that. I mean, it becomes a community almost in a weird way. Yeah. You know, which is cool. And also, it's not like sh you can't like shit on someone like a social media app. It's just more of a social sharing. It's yeah. more of a data sharing about the ground. <laughs> about what's going on. Yeah, about what's going on, which to is cool. I like time it. Real time. I love hassle, it. Love it. Which I, lo which I do like a lot. So, Julie Johnson. Yeah. In from Connecticut. Yeah. Chose the NOAA. Weather. App. So that's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration app. She also chose Flight Aware. Was yes. It? Is that the one? That's the one where you put in a flight number, right? And yeah. The, and and the, or an airline. And the airline. Airline the to, from, city, date. Date and all that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And the, and the flight numbers tend to be exactly the same every, every day. Every day, right. So it tends to, they've got that down. Man, they've well, got fucking flight down. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. You have to. Do to I know. save money, I got to be efficient. Well, just think about like just to keep things from crashing into each other. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably, that's probably a good, good idea, idea too. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus dear Lord. Lord, fuck! All right. Um. So, may I share the first ridiculous app? No. Ridiculous app number one. Meanwhile, back at the ridiculous app site. Do you have a stop dog barking app? Uh, I don't. I. Do you think there's an app that puts a high pitched dog? sound that we can hear out of the speaker that they can hear like a dog whistle <gasps> is there a dog whistle app there's got to be i think Someone's we should beer google that shit i'm sure that's there but okay. we're gonna do it okay so have you heard of a small company called frito-lay yes have you heard of them and there there's a subsidiary you may never heard of they're called pepsi pepsi yeah um have you, you heard of them well um I think because my uncle worked for them for 40 years. Oh, okay. So that's the only reason I know about them. Yeah, I don't know much about them. No, because all we do is drink the other stuff. Coke oh, Zero. We, But we do not support the person who advertised that in the 80s. No. No. Just have a Coke and a smile and shut the fuck up? Yeah. No Jello. None. No. Or Puddin' Pops. The Puddin' Pops. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
You're waiting for that, weren't you? Uh-huh. You get to put Pepsi. Okay, so Pepsi had this really awesome idea to launch an app along with the launch or the uh, yeah the launch of their Amp Energy drink. Amp A M P A M P like so it's Mountain Dew on Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's Mountain. Dew. It's Baja Blast with an extra kick. <laughs> By the way, uh, crack research assistant, a crack research staff member, Elisa. Bro, Senior you come in with staff. an algene with Death Wish coffee on it, and what's inside? What's what's in it? There's a blue Powerade Zero. Motherfucker. And I've got Mountain Dew downstairs. You do? I do. But is it we diet? Have to, no, bro. It's real so stuff. So do we be crossing the streams? We're going to try would, this. I would totally do it. And we're going to do it Elisa style. We will get back to you on Wednesday after we do it, because okay. we're not going to do it now. Okay. It's not like a live cooking show. Why not? But it's, Bam! It's, <laughs> okay, Emerald. <laughs> It's that's the only cook power first, and then you add the Mountain Dew yes. to it, I believe, per yes. the tweet or per the message. So we're going to check that the out. The other one is pretty, but not as delicious. It's more beautiful, but okay. just tastes like shit. Yes. Just, uh, it tastes like ass, I think was the correct term. Whatever it takes. Whatever it took. So anyway, they had this amp up before you score. Amp up before you score. Now, what does that sound like? Amp up before you score. It sounds like an energy drink to me. So I'm thinking like it's sports related, I think right? It's about, I think of basketball. Yeah, I think it's just, sure, football basketball just the major sports right where you get before yeah. you score you know could be football goal 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 yeah, goal, 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 goal goal totally soccer but no sir but no that is not what but this wait was. there's more in conjunction with the launch of their amp energy drink pepsi developed an app that claimed to help guys quote unquote score with 24 different types of women and then Brag about it. What year was that? It doesn't give me a year. I guess I should have done a little more research. The me- the app was immediately pulled after overnight backlash. That's what I can tell you. So, honestly, I probably could have used it when it was released. I was going to say. so Back in the day, you- I needed advice on how to score with 24 different types of women. Because there's only 24 different types. That's weird. <laughs> I'd love to see the list. Like, what were the? What's the list of women? One was like a tree hugger. I saw it. I saw a screenshot. I'll. I've got the. I've like, got is the there link. a Catholic girl? There's a tree hugger girl. There's got to be like. There's yeah, a, the, the, a tall the, Republican girl. The prude. The, the slut. Prude. The hoe. <laughs> well, the you prost. don't need an app for those two. Well, you got to figure out a way to fuck the prostitute without paying. Okay, that, valid point. Yes. So you got to. That's number you have nine. To have her list. like you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Like you more than the rectangular bills with the wrong with George name, Washington on with them. the place from which everything came written yes. on them. In the gods we trust. Oh God, fuck. Uh, back to that. But I also wonder, in addition to the twenty-four types of ladies, what did the app do to do you? The app lets you brag about it. So I guess you, you must you, said like it worked. So I yeah, have no did fucking you input clue. stuff into the app to talk to other dudes. It doesn't exist. I would have downloaded half of these had they still been on. Some kind of available, store. yeah. Because I'm very curious to test drive that fucker. I don't think Megs would be mad at me for doing research. I'm because I'd want to know the 24 types of women. You know what? We might do a podcast about the 24 types of women of Pepsi. Maybe we could just do a whole podcast just on the 24 types of women. Okay, that'd be fun. Uh, this is my. I'm gonna f- like to see the list before I agree to that. This is where we get no, because this shit gets sprung on you, bro. Yeah, I know. This, this is where the philosophy works, though. This is where I love. Everyone speaks of diversity. Diver- it's all about... I know. I did on the last podcast. Diversity. And I, I, we're all about diversity, bro. The thing is, recognizing diversity is recognizing your differences, which is ism. It's an ism, people. Diversitism. Because <laughs> I remember working at a large electronic company that had a yellow tag on it with black writing that was blue also. You had I'm not going to talk about it. You wore a blue work. shirt every day? I wore a blue shirt every day. I said, welcome to this place. And they were they were launching a campaign talking about how diverse we were. But they put buyers in five categories. <laughs> and I just sat there during this meeting that they were launching. There's the techie guy and the whatever person, the person that doesn't know anything. Like They were just giving us different types of people. And I'm like... As a sales tactic? Yeah, I'm raising my hand. Yeah, I'm like raising my hand. Like, so you have, you pigeonholed 7 billion people into five categories of shopper. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, pick, ooh, you. pick ooh. me, pick me. They're like, they're like, well, this is how every 
This is how it every is. Every employer of yours? Every, every owner, employer, whatever, for whom I've worked, does this when I raise my hand. I go, ooh, ooh, ooh. They go, <sighs> Mark, what? Because <laughs> they know it's coming. You know what I mean? Yes. They just know it's coming. So I'm like, so our whole world of diversity is five groups of people. And they're like, they look at each other, the, the, you know, the head the people. The presenters. Right, the, the head people, like the, the people trying to sell us on this shit. Sell us this load of shit. Like the director of, yes. the, of the, the whatever. manager of the store, the fucking exec, the non-Mary super executive sales The director producer, of sales whatever. of the quadrant, whatever the fuck. Of, of this yellow tagged blue box fucking place. You mean wrong purchase? <laughs> uh, worse sale? Yes. <laughs> but anyway. I forgot so. you worked there. Yeah, for way too long. Yeah, I forgot about like that. Like a day longer than I, well, the, whatever the time is, plus a day longer than it was I should have. Many days. Yeah. Open the channel. Anyway, store, so what bro. was their answer to your statement? Oh, no, Question. they just had nothing to say. It's just funny because it's like, you're fucking, we talk about diversity, right? Once again, we talk about, I want qualified people. No, no, we don't want qualified people. We want the first X this, the first Y that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is bullshit, man. Just fuck it. We're all just, there are actually 7.7 7 individuals. I don't know if you knew this, but there's 7.7 7 billion individuals. Hey, man, dude, it's an app that doesn't exist. Don't oh, have a okay. heart attack, bro. Well, they pulled it. Don't so have an aneurysm. It's I, not fun. I'm going to look for the screenshots, but one I swear to God was a tree hugger. I'm not kidding. Oh, Let me okay. See the screen I show. love tree huggers. I know. Imagine like, how do you get in with a tree hugger? You know, I got in with a tree hugger. Well, it wasn't, I didn't get in with one. Sierra, really did C- you joined the Sierra club? No, it was in Vegas. And, uh, there was a tree hugger there. A convention? There was just one tree hugger it, walking down the strip. No, it was you're um, like, Hey girl, actually, you want to go the- to REI? <laughs> I liked your Subaru. <laughs> Hey, is that is that made of all recyclable material? Is that a Subaru in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Happy to see me. <laughs> I don't know. How do you get in with a tree hugger? Well, this is what happened. So it was the weekend of the Las Vegas shooting. Oh, and you know, I started opening my psychic abilities, powers, and whatnot. And my, I was with the guy, my guy, my friend, and I. We went did a road trip down there, so we're hanging out, and these. Two attractive women are sitting in a slot machine, so we strike up a conversation. You know, I'm so shy. Hey, how you doing? And we start talking, and I swear something pops into my head. San Francisco. And she's got dreads, and she's kind of like dressed like a like a tree hugger, but adorable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like an adorable tree hugger. There's not many of them, because mm-hmm. showering's involved. Yeah. For me, anyway. Yeah. So I say, what about San Francisco? And she's like, oh. She, that's where they're from. And they freaked out. So they were all like, oh, bougie, bougie. I don't know. It worked for a second. It's a nice parlor trick. Wow, dude. That's freaking cool. Yeah. But, you know, tree huggers and crystals and not washing your pits. So Yeah, works. definitely wash your pits, but I like the first two parts. Yeah, the first two parts are great. I don't care if you shave them, but definitely wash them. Don't use crystals on your pits. That shit doesn't work. That's, that's why Germans smell. All Germans smell. Just FYI. Okay. Except for me, I'm an I'm an Amer- never, I'm a German American. You've never smelled bad. No, no, but just Germans. I appreciate you showering every day. Go to go to Germany. It's disgusting, bro. Okay, but they're beautiful people. They are beautiful people. They ju- they just do not like to shower very often, nor do they like to use deodorant. They do not like deodorant. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Can we have check mark sing Marilyn Manson song "Beautiful People"? Yes, but not right now. Damn it. Because we're going to get to, is it Kent? Does Kent have three? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So tell me about this dinner. What, what'd you guys do? Uh, you Kent was on? in town and we played golf and then we had dinner. Where'd you have dinner at? Anywhere good? Uh, like, Zinburger. On, oh, nice. Yeah, it was super good. So Zinburger. Hello, Zinburger. It was really good. Why don't you get I had the Diablo burger and my face got burned off. That pepper Jack cheese. Pepper Jack cheese and like. Jalapenos. It and, was like, the jalapenos were like butterflied. So it was like Open. huge, long slices of jalapenos, dude. And then caramelized onions. It was, it, dude, my dude, face was on fire. Really? Was it that it bad? Was, it was super good. It was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a better hot than I do, right? Yeah, because I love hot food. Yeah. I do too, but I try. That's the thing is I force myself to eat it because I, I like it. I mean, I want to like it and I want to like it more. I get into Thai food and all that. Yeah, well, Thai food's ridiculous, dude. I haven't gotten no. to that Thai food. I mean, me and yet. Steve went to Thai and we got 
five is the hottest, and we got three, and we couldn't eat it. Medium so, uh, is well, like super burnt. No, dude, it's it's ridiculous. Where was this? Uh, on Thirty Second Street in Greenway. <sighs> Thai right. chili or something. Yeah, like Thai, that. Thai basil, Thai chili. Thai's, oh, Thai chili is a good one too. Uh, so I don't many know good ones. One. Yeah, but it's like, but it was ridiculous. You have to be very. And then we went back there, and he and the guy, the guys, you know, he's from Thailand, right? And he goes, "Oh, how hot do you want it?" And Steve says, three. And he goes, <laughs> he, goes he tilts his head. He goes, "You sure?" <laughs> and I go, "See, man, remember last time? Because, because thirty seconds earlier, I said two because I learned my lesson. Right. And when the when the waiter from Thailand cocks his head and goes, "You sure?" That means no, dumbass. Right. And think about s- it. It was so funny. Think about it. Five levels. Yeah. Three is a 60%, bro, of uh, the hottest see, fucking thing. Yeah, I always thought three was kind of a half-ish. It sounds like half because there's two below it and two right. above it. But it is 60%. But it's 60%, my friend. It was friends. so hot, dude. You gotta be like, careful. I needed another bowl of rice to kind of break even. Oh, dude. bro, you need a bowl of rice because you're woodsy. I love rice. Dude, yeah. rice is rice? the best carb. Well, tortillas is the best carb. I don't carb. even know. Carbs don't exist, just rice and tortilla. I just eat them. I don't. I don't know these carb things. If I ignore it, it's like if I ignore it, it goes away. That's how I've lost all this weight. Okay. I eat like a fucking crazy man. And I just go, I didn't eat that. My body goes, Ooh. you didn't eat that. Mind over matter. Mind, total mind over matter. It's okay. not It's not discipline in any way. At this point, I'm almost laying down, dude. This is fantastic. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. Well, we're going to get, we're going to get a Extendo set of mics. Well, we're going to get extended mics. We're going to get a better table. And we're going to get, I think we're going to get some stuff so we can do the, some couch sessions with the woods. I'm excited. I can't wait to like get, that's where I'll need a notepad and pee and go, tell me about your childhood foods. No, we're not going to do that. No? Yeah. We're not going to do this? No. Okay. Well, what did Ken have to say about it? Ken. His Ken. Um, Kent. Isn't it Kent? Kent. It's Kent. He said fantasy football. Which one? Any of them? He didn't say which one. ESPN, Yahoo, sure. Draft Kings, whatever. Yeah, and okay. uh, Facebook Messenger because he stays in touch with one of his kids that way. Very nice. He's off at college. That's beautiful. Yeah. And such a bad choice. I'll well, explain later. I'll I mean, explain when I explain mine, but you'll understand. Okay. You're going to take my side. Kent, you're a great person, man. Yeah. Sh- you're an amazing man. Thanks for hanging out with Woodsy, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it was Thanks a great for- day, dude. How did you visit? Like, he just decided to come out and hang no, out? No, they were going to come. They had other plans, and then because of COVID, they changed it to... Uh, Come to Phoenix. Okay. Because Ember Riddle's text- October West got canceled, right? I don't know. Oh, okay. Something. The Gamma Oda people. Uh, so they just hung out down here and went to the pool. And nice. I said, hey, well, I'm off on Thursday, dude. I'm golfing. You want to go? He's like, yeah. Fuck so yeah. So he. Um, What's he doing? Working for Skorsky Aircraft. Skorsky. Does he fly or does he no, like, he's, engineer? No, I think guy. he's selling. He said he's over 100 people. So he's the director of something. Wow. I think he's in charge of parts. Very nice. Yeah. Sikorsky makes a phenomenal helicopter, man. Yeah. He does Blackhawk stuff. It's a beautiful thing. Or Brown Hawk. I don't know. Whatever. Whichever color it takes. Yeah. You know. The Rainbow Hawk. Yeah. yeah. Pride, bro. Tastes the rainbow like Skittles. All right. So what's the third one? Did he have a That's third it. one? He only had two. So do you want me to shit on the messenger one now or later? Uh, you can poop whenever you want, dude. I'll wait. Okay. It's worth it. I'll so wait. let's let's go to a shitty app number a dose. Okay. There's one called the Taxi Hold'em app. That sounds dumb. In theory, it was kind of a good idea. It displays a large taxi sign on your phone in bright yellow and black in order to help you hail one down. Um, so but basically, if your phone's this big, it's like tiny. Even as big, even a phablet is still pretty small when you're. Uh, yeah, when the a cab's cab doing 40 is miles 20. an hour. Hey, even 20, man. Having to try to track. In New York, trying to figure out that traffic yeah, and people? Fuck right. that. Unless this, unless it's not very busy. I have a solution to that. Yes. Just hold up your fucking hand. <laughs> like, during the day, you wouldn't be able to see and that. Yo, taxi! Taxi! Right. Like, Bobcat Goldthwait style. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> taxi! <laughs> It's kind of my bobcat. That was terrible. I do a pretty good bobcat. I do a decent bobcat. This is just not it. I haven't warmed up. <laughs> me, 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 me. I haven't warmed up this morning yet. So. Oh, I, okay. I know, it's crazy. And we've got a weird, we've got an interview. We've got a fun conversation coming up after this. I know. With these Subfax people. The dudes from the, the Philly. The dudes from Subfax. Well, one's a Flyers fan. That's And so... the other guy drinks alcohol. So, and that's funny. So they're perfect for us. The nicknames drink. Yeah. yeah. And the non-nicknames drink. Don't necessarily, but I'm sure the the non nickname doesn't do what I do either. So, but we won't talk about that. Okay, you know heroin. 
Get that hey, vein nice and going. Dude, don't be... Oh, not right now? Don't, don't tie be, one don't off? Don't be shooting up in here, man. <laughs> don't tie off. All right. So that was app, stupid app number doses. That's dumb, dude. It's basically like a picture that were, with the word taxi on it, on your phone. In and big, you hold big it up. letters. Yeah, with black letters with a yellow background. Even has a little checkered, little Gangnam on the sides. Is Gangnam, Gangnam just, style? Is Gangnam just red and white checkerboard, or is it any checkerboard I don't know, style? dude. I never know either. I need to turn this thing off. Yeah, why aren't you, why aren't you in airplane mode? I don't know, bro. I do. I don't know, bro. I guess I'll the care. only place your phone should not be in airplane mode is in church. You should annoy the shit out of everybody <laughs> in church. You know what you need to do? I what? think Kent needs to have his. Uh, he needs to have his um, Facebook Messenger. No, his fantasy football thing. Uh, Score! <laughs> like middle fucking <laughs> like. <laughs> And Jesus said, be blessed, be... Score! Oh, Woo! I just got six points from OBJ! Oh, my God. That's terrible and awesome. That was awful. Okay, sir, uh, who's the third person? I mean, I, you know what? I think I'm amped up a little bit. I read about Pepsi's AMP app, and I want it now. I want to learn how to score with 24 different types of women. Because there's only 24 different types. So is it like a... The challenge of yours now that you need to do this? It kind of feels like a Barney Stinson challenge accepted kind of moment. His name's Barney. Barney Stinson. Um, isn't isn't no, it Stin- Barney Stinson from? Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Remember that episode? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was one of my favorites. I, the playbook. Isn't yes, it called the, the playbook? Correct. It's beautiful. All right. So who's our next victim? Heather's I mean, next. Our next uh, entrant. And uh, she said her banking app. That's a good one. Uh, we did have several other bankers as well. Uh, now, can I ask you a question about that, may I? Sure. You have multiple banks. I, Each, I have multiple banks? One one has multiple banks. One could. One, I'm giving you a hypothetical. Oh, one has okay. multiple banks. They would need multiple apps. Would those apps eat into the total three, or is it a banking style app? What, what would you say to that? I would say that they eat into the three. I agree. I agree. You only get three. So have one account. Don't diversify. Well, I mean, I, I have a checking <laughs> and a savings account with the same With the same bank. bank I've got so different it's bank one account. app. Right. But I've got different banks. So I'd have to have one for each. That's Sorry, not bro. Yeah, I know. And one's got crypto. Uh, I'm all over the place and losing money and bleeding like a fucking sieve. <laughs> I just... Let me tell you people something. Don't ever invest the way I invest. That's about all I can tell you. Can I tell you something funny I heard this morning on... ESPN College Game Day. Everything about your favorite Admiral Akbar running rebels. Ooh, their defense is so bad they couldn't stop a nosebleed. <laughs> that's a dad joke, man. And that's what he said. That's what the guy said. <laughs> couldn't stop a nosebleed. That was so funny. Oh, shit. Move along. So Move along. Move uh, along. Heather's second is uh, Amazon Photos. I don't really know a lot about that. I she said they. Her photos get backed up. It sounds like yeah, because Apple doesn't have a cloud version of that, and Google doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. We're cool. That's all. I can't speak to it. I can't either. It probably has other functionality she really likes, though. Yeah, I would think because there's a lot of photo apps out there. So for her to choose one, I don't know of what photo apps there are. So I'm not into that. Pin. I mean, Pinterest is technically a photo. Instagram is technically a photo we share app. Snapchat, Amazon Photos is that. No, it's a little a more social like... social media app? It's not... I don't think as much, but I bet you could share I bet stuff. you can, yeah. Probably has some functionality among along Alexa. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. And number numero do... Pandora. Trace. There's so your music app. You can stream. It's much different than... Yeah, it's a streaming service. And it's not a streaming a, service, not just a music player. Right, because... Whereas Apple just integrated it kind of in Yeah. A, and that's and what's great with, about Apple. With Pandora and other streaming services... Obviously, originally you need a cell phone signal or a Wi-Fi signal, and now you can start to, now you, there's some features where you can download shows and, oh, hey, I'm going to download, oh, they had a special tribute to Michael Jackson or whatever the hell, and you can download that. You know how they do that, though? It's only good for X amount of time. Oh. So what it is is they, they throw a digital uh, copyright, like security pin onto it, like a, an yeah. encrypted- an expiration date. Yeah. And- if your system doesn't update, like, say you cancel Pandora. You download something and then cancel Pandora. Yeah. 30 days later, it looks for Pandora to see if it's still on. It sees it's not, and then you lose that. 
That makes sense. It makes total sense. Yeah. It's total, it's, it really helps protect the, 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 the product. Well, yeah. Not only music. Pandora, but the, the, the Michael artist. Jackson yeah. or whoever Abs- that you're, because there's copyright infringements. And Absolutely. Garbage, totally, so. totally the, the yeah. uh, thing. I like those. Those are really good choices. Yeah, and I, I do like Pandora as well. Banking app, a good music streaming app. Yeah. And uh, the, photo, the one. photo one, which is really awesome because that's pretty much a lot of your life, especially in a digital world. Yeah. What you listen to. What you see with pictures, especially and, like and uh, how you how you pay for all that shit. Family people, a lot of people with kids love that. Totally, you know, they take take a lot of pictures, etc. Yeah, it's like a Google Drive because you probably share those too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sir. This is one of my favorite apps of shit. It's called Pocket Heat. Would you like to guess what Pocket Heat does? Pocket Heat? Yes. H-E-A-T? H-E-A-T, my friend. I would guess that it heats up your pocket. That is correct. Whoa. That is correct. Um, Newsflash. Lots of places out there are cold. No way. Like Michigan? Almost all year round. So the idea of carrying a miniature radiator around to warm your hands whenever possible sounds heavenly. In comes pocket heat. It slices or at least it tries. It Julian fries the pocket heat five thousand. We need to drink more Dan Aykroyd vodka over there, sir. As there's well just, as Death Wish coffee. We you just spike it with brandy. Can we do a Death Wish vodka coffee drink? Of yeah, some sort. Kahlu- yeah. yeah, throw some sambuca in there. Kahlua. Kahlua vodka, Kahlua, Frangelico, all that shit. Frangelico. I don't even know what that is. Frangelico? It's yeah. like some person on the thing, on the picture and thing. It's oh. like an alcoholic. Whatever. Alcoholic. Anyway, what this app did, so, sir, so basically what it did is it turned your phone into a little heater. Why how, you just how do you think gloves? it did that? How, what do you think it did? How does one turn a phone into a heater? Uh, you leave it out in the sun. That's good. That's probably good, but it's cold. Oh, you, I was going to say, you could put it on the dashboard in Phoenix in July. <laughs> you could uh, just melt, though. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, it, won't, it won't heat up. It'll just melt. So this is what it did. It just took your battery power and cranked up your processor to put it on, like, overload. So basically put a load on your processor. So your phone, like, loses its battery power. But you have warm hands for, like, five minutes. Yeah, I'd be interested just to, to know how long. How long? I'm going to find that one you out. Know, I, I think that one I still exists. Know. I'm, it's an apple i think actually apple this is what's interesting um apple made you pull it but allegedly it's still on oh it's still on um it's still on apple but it now it just faux heat it just pretends to be warm it doesn't actually do anything <laughs> <laughs> so it's like so, a fake fire yeah fake fire foe that's fake stupid it's really stupid oh sorry it's, it's fake r- good it's okay <laughs> All right. It's real stupid. Who do, okay. Who, who do we got? Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. So, uh, yeah. So, so far we've had how to score with 24 different types of women and brag about it. Right. We've also ha- had our pocket get warmer. For no reason. Uh, and we've been able to hail a taxi less effectively than we normally would by waving our hand. Waving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next on the list was Echo Lima from the home office in... Michigan. Another, there can't be another home office, man. There's uh, only this, home that's, our, that's our home away from home. Oh, this is our home away from home office? Yeah, this is our summer home. Is he our sub executive producer? Sure. Or is he just producer? Does junior. He, key grip. He's our key grip. <laughs> Correct. Lighting engineer, junior. Uh, he said Reddit. Uh, Reddit is fucking awesome. I wish I got hooked on it, but I, I've avoided it like the plague. I've, I keep hearing good things. I hear great things, but I think it's like addictive great things. Like, great. Not in a good way. Like you will want to be on there seeing all the shit that everyone's talk or whatever comes up on Reddit. It's yeah. really important. I, a lot of It's really important to not get addicted. Yeah. Yeah. Chrome. Web browser, part of the functionality. Well, I, I'm assuming on a, on he Android, has, I would. I'm assuming he has an iPhone. Okay. So he downloaded, that's my guess okay. is he downloaded Chrome. Okay. Because he doesn't like Safari. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I don't know. But it could also, and, and he, you know, not everyone's akin to our rules oh, as much as we Oh, he's a super techie guy too. Oh, so. is he akin to our rules? Yeah, he's a network engineer. This guy wasn't listening. We need to know if he has an iPhone. You should know, bro. He's like your best friend. Sh- yeah. You have a designation for him. Echo he's a Lima? close friend. Yeah, sure. Echo Lima. Well, uh, that makes yeah. sense. Totally. Yeah. You don't, you don't scissor. No. no. You, just, you just, you, but 
sometimes the particle streams approach. Negative. They do not cross. They just approach. You want to hear a funny story about Echolima? <laughs> yes, please. You want to hit the button? <laughs> button hit, sir. So we're on the, uh, this is, I don't know, six months ago. We're on the 10th tee box because him and I golfed together. And all the guys stop at the ninth, after the ninth hole, and they, everyone gets hot dogs. So, except me, because I, I, I didn't, I wasn't hungry, whatever. And I'm on the 10th tee box, standing over my ball, my driver in my hands, ready to start my backswing. And Echo Lima is in the cart 20 feet away, and he says, I got wieners on my mind. <laughs> And the four of us busted out <laughs> laughing. And I couldn't, I, I started crying. I completely, I'm like, how am I supposed to hit the ball now, dude? Like, <laughs> it's like a spit take on a tee box. Dude, how I, do you do that? I walked away you have for to. like two minutes. You have to unaddress the ball I'm, dude, and then readdress the ball. Yeah, it was, I got wieners on my mind. I got wieners on my mind. You know, that's so Willie Nelson. That was the lesser known Willie Nelson original before you were always on my mind. It was, yeah. I got wieners on my mind. I got wieners on my mind. I believe. On the 10th tee box in Phoenix. I believe that is absolutely correct, sir. Baby, I heated wieners. <laughs> Quite as often as I could. Okay, that was awful. It was fantastic. But your story was... <laughs> I, got wien- I got wieners on That's my all him, dude. I had nothing to Bro. do with it. All right. Let's- His last was DoorDash. That's a good one. That's, that's solid. That's probably approaching one of mine for sure. But I also was thinking, why DoorDash and not Grubhub? Or why not Uber right. Eats? Why- Is there one food app better than another? I don't really know. They all have... I. Just like streaming music services, each one has its pros and cons. I'm pretty sure, and some people have like functionality of different ones. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, and I'm not really familiar. It's like why Uber versus Lyft? Why Lyft versus yeah, Uber? Right. Or did you have a bad experience with one? Right. Or? The places the they get you there. Of course. Both get you there. Both yeah. get you food. Right. And now what happened is, you, but this is like anything. A new idea comes up. I mean, delivery food is not, but. Delivery from all these niche places is definitely a new concept, right? You mean like, McDonald's? Not well, McDonald's is one, but like even just the local joint that doesn't have delivery service. Yes. Right? Like how many Asian food places and what whatnot have or Mexican food places don't yeah, have delivery? No Mexican place ever yeah. delivered. Yeah, they don't really deliver. Right. So having this is a huge benefit. What happens is everybody gets on it, right? Like just like Uber started and then Lyft jumps on, like it's Xerox, right? You have the yes. Xerox of, yes. and that's, you know, then you ha- you try to make a copy of the copy. Was Grubhub the first? I don't know which one was the first. I can't tell you, but I can tell you the Postmates seemed early and Grubhub seemed early. See, I heard and, Postmates later on. Okay, Postmates, so, and I, I don't, w- and I've, I've seen bad experience with the Postmates. I think I had a Postmates experience. I didn't like the way that worked. I'm not shitting on it because it's just my style. I'm not telling other people how to, how to live. Yeah, it's just I'm a DoorDash guy personally. It's the only, I don't even think I have Postmates or Grubhub even on my phone. I just have DoorDash. So I if it's do. not there. I have both, but I always use Uber Eats. That's a good one too. That does a lot of the fast food stuff, right? I I don't know. I never use get fast food, but yeah. Who do you use it for? Who do you use um, it for? Chinese, Thai, uh, native New Yorker. Habit Burger. I'm going to check it out because I'm going to have to check that one out because that's that's all the things I eat. A couple other places too. Oh, yeah. Well, dude. Of course. Yeah. A couple other places. Look at. Look and they at, all, do they have uh, Filiberto's and other, they have Mexican places as well. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. I mean, I usually just drive through those, but yeah. DoorDash has a lot of those too, but it's similar. So I'll have to check to see if the prices might be a little better. Yeah. And I always look for low delivery fees and all that bullshit. Yeah. It's hard though because there's convenient fees. I don't know if of, you knew that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I I've decided to do the the DoorDash with the pickup. It saves me like 15 20 bucks and it's right down the street. 15 usually. bucks. Dude, it adds up. When you talk about when you talk about the uh, convenience fee and then the the delivery fee and then the tip? Yeah. Cuz you tip? Yeah. I mean, if you don't fucking tip. I do. No, I'm, no. I'm a 20%er. Hello to the world. If you don't fucking tip, I'm going to sick OJ on you. Oh. Watch out. Yeah, watch out. He must see my drive on 14. The truth hurts. <laughs> um, apparently it kills. It kills, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the truth kills. So can we can we go through those three uh, again? Sure. Reddit, Chrome, and DoorDash. Phenomenal choices. Thank you, Echolima. Yay, golf clap. 
Because he has wieners on his mind. He does. Wieners on his mind. He got wieners on his mind. Okay. Are you ready for the next shitty app? No. This one's called I French Kiss. Oh, dear Lord. Sir, tell me what you think this app is. I, I don't want to know, man. Do you See, if I were to guess, I would say everyone downloads this, and if they're looking for someone to French kiss them, it's like a radar Tinder thing. Like, they're, you're within 100 feet of a person who wants to French kiss, French kiss somebody. Would you like to meet them? Like, Would you like to know more? Would you like COVID? Please press this app. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But that's not what it is, man. What it does, you you kiss your phone screen and you get a rating on your performance. Get the fuck out of here. Stop that. Sorry. I bet you I would score very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> like a three? A negative 14 and a half. <laughs> out of 100. What? Yeah, bro. Kiss your phone and it tells you how, how you How would do. your phone know? I bet you I know exactly how they did it. Okay. Lay it on me. Well, it's a touch screen. It your is. tongue touches it, so it looks for certain oh, markers. Oh, it's not in just the, your tongue. It's your... You kiss it's the, your... Uh, maybe, you, maybe it's, it's lips. your lips and your tongue. It might be lips, but I... Well, it's called I French kiss. Right, so... So I'm wondering if your tongue would be extended as you... Dude, what are... It sounds like you're eating a four by four from in and out. Isn't that how you kiss people? <laughs> <laughs> Cheese dripping down your face. For all the ladies who hey, thought I just sounded ladies. so delicious until you hear that, you're like, <laughs> fuck... What a Stop disgusting eating a fat burger body. on the podcast. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Yeah, I have to say nom nom as I kiss too. Nom, nom. You're delicious. Nom. Shut I up. like your lips. Shut up. Okay. Finish this shit. So yeah, it's called I French Kiss. So I have a feeling it has sensors in, like maybe the mouth is an opening and you have to press your lips exactly on it and then maybe move your tongue in certain direction. I don't know. Swirl, square, uh, spiral. Circle gets the square. Circle gets the square. I don't know, but it, it rates you apparently. These are ones we should download after this and really play with. No. Uh, or not ever do ever again. Only if I can get a taxi. <laughs> we'll just wave really violently and you're good. All right, sir. Next. Uh, next up is Golf Aaron. He said Shazam because music. Hello. Duh. What? What is Shazam? Uh, oh, Shazam. The one that. Does the thing with the thing? It's the one that Jamie it, Fox lets you try it, to beat on Fox. It identifies music when it plays. Yeah, why don't they push that angle a little more? Jamie Fox is literally a host on a Fox show. Why, well, he's why also would you a, play he, Fox he on Fox? He won an Academy Award. Well, I know. I'm just saying though. His name Fox, and he's on Fox. It's like perfect marketing. I would have. It, it is. I would exploited the shit out of that. I haven't seen it. Just saying. Um, I watched some Fox. Okay. I watched the Mass Singer. Singer. Mass Singer. How horrible is that? I like guessing. I'm cool with the performances. All the other bullshit and pomp and circumstance can go fuck itself. Do you fast forward to the judges and stuff? No, I just, I try to fast forward just to the uh, performances. Yeah. And then I, mean. I look at Megzi and I go, who do you think that is? I do let them guess too, because sometimes they give, put me in a direction. Oh. But most like, I like Ken Jeong. Okay. Ken Jeong, Ken Jeong is a funny guy. On his face, he's a funny guy. Yes, he is. In this show, he's an annoying fuck. Oh. I know exactly who this is. And it's, it's like he becomes a caricature of that. Yes. And then they retread it. And then it becomes silly. So we're on season four now. And this is where I, you know, that down, that I feel like it's going to hit that tip. And then it's just going to go downhill. Has. Because Three it was a quality ago. show. Sorry, bro. You don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. It's a quality show. Is that what you're going to say? It's a quality concept for a show is take a professional of some of some means, right? Actor, fucking internet star, YouTuber, whatever. Put them in a fucking costume and make them sink in front of everybody. Are those four judges going to know who a YouTuber is? They knew who fucking Ninja was, but I know fuck. I don't know. And that was, it was the second one kicked off of the last season and, or the first, it might've been the first one, but I had no idea who it was, but everyone else I've known. So, and did you know them right away? No, I mean, when I'm they sorry. took off their helmet, no, when no, they no, took no. off their mask. You, were you, how many were you able to guess correctly? Half? <sighs> Not that many. Maybe 20%, 30%. Wow, okay. Remember, it's really hard in the beginning because you don't have many clues and you haven't heard them more than once. So if you get eliminated early, the first, like, say they have elimination, someone gets kicked off every show. Yeah. So if you start, 
your day one, you sing one song and had just one packet of clues. It's really hard to tell unless you have a really distinctive voice. The one that took off his own mask last time was Mickey Rourke. Spoiler alert. But we knew it was Mickey Rourke because it sounded like Mickey Rourke singing. Because you knew that voice. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, it was awful. Made me want to. Yeah, someone brought up Mickey Rourke. We looked at each other and we go, that's Mickey Rourke. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I had Wayne Brady the whole time. Last, the last season, whatever, but. You know, toot my own horn. Boop, boop. Not last season, two seasons ago. The one that won last year, though. See, that's where it got bullshit to me. She was not as good as the other person who lost. Not even close. Like, half as good. And yet she won. I'm sorry I asked. Yeah, I literally went on a little fucking mess. I singer. don't care. <laughs> about any reality show. It's not a reality show, man. It is a reality show. Not really. It's a contest. Yeah. Uh, it's like a sporting yeah. event with singing, bro. It's a competition. It's a little different. Reality shows the fucking bullshit. This is like, it's not scripted to the point where they edit out things. There's, it's just performance, guess, and then they vote. So, don't give me, don't give me your slow blink. Ugh. All right. So, what were we on? Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Shazam. Shazam. Shazam's a phenomenal choice. That's also, probably. he said ways because he doesn't like getting lost. <laughs> and Twitter because it's entertaining. The Twitter. So, was it, who who first chose Waze? Who, who was the first person? Uh, Julie. Julie, okay. So it's not, I'm wondering if it's like a sex thing. Like a male, gender? female. A gen- no, a sex thing. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, a gender thing, well, you're right. Dear Waze, where can I find sex? <laughs> Sorry, sir. That's on. Uh, There's the a French glory hole app. located 3.2 miles from your location. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, um, I, I meant gender, sir. Sorry, I don't know my words. Uh, but no, so a man and a woman chose it. So it's not. Do you think that the man puts it away and then Waze goes, "Hello, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? No, I'm trying to tell you where to go. You think you know where you're going? You think you know where you're going? Dude, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Because men don't listen to whatever Correct. directions. Uh, yeah. I have the best app ever, sir. Go. For you. Yes. One that makes no sense. It's called I Am Important. You are. I agree. What do you think this app entails, sir? <sighs> Probably blows sunshine up your ass. It says nice things? Sure. Okay. Well, it was released in 2011. It was sought to make users feel important by creating fake contacts and diary events. The, also, the app also asks you about your day, presumably because no one else would, because you were the type of person who would sincerely download this app. No fake words. contacts. Fake contacts. Man. Uh, may I ask you a question? Yeah. What do you think Facebook and fucking Twitter is, sir? Uh, there's real contacts, but there's a lot of fake fucking contacts out there to feel important, to get that little, yeah, it's like, called, to get a like button, called, to get a hit, to get that little pellet. It's called friends, but they're not really your friends if you don't know them. Correct. So the, the word has been diluted. It's been very diluted. I mean, and diluted. On Facebook. Incredibly, extremely diluted, not just diluted. But I mean, I had, there's people that I don't know that I'm friends with, right? Sir, it's been watered down so much that it's watered. Yes. <laughs> Don't ever smile at me. The only smile with food that you're allowed. We should maybe do a podcast about that. The only smile that you can have food is orange slice. Okay. Orange slice is next week. You know what I'm talking not about? Not cheese like today? No, not string <laughs> cheese. Oh, they were pearly white, so they were really fucking white. That was the grossest thing I've seen in anyone's mouth. And I've seen some gross things in things oh, in people's mouths. Oh, boy. All right, sir. Who's our next Vic, uh, contributor? <laughs> Rear Admiral Daniel Gibson. Oh, Daniel. Naval salute. He doesn't get naval. He's Air Force, isn't he? I yeah, I know. But I just like saying Rear Admiral. I, just, I want to get high with Daniel. That's Let's a, get high with Daniel. Aim, aim high. high. Fuck, bro. You and I. I love you, man. <laughs> so, uh, number one, Dark Sky. What the fuck is this? I don't know. Dark. I'm looking that up, but Do I it. bet it's like Sky Map. Sure. Dark fucking sky. Next is Hurricane Tracker. Hold on. Do you think Dark Sky is where he saw them? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I hope we get a chance to talk with him about them. Me too. And we're not going to get any more specific than that because that's about as vague as I want to get. Okay. 
Um, okay, Dark Sky, Hurricane Tracker. Hurricane, that's smart. And now is this for him flying or is this just like where he lives? He lives in Texas, right? I believe is so. He in Texas still? I would think there's a large number of hurricanes coming up that way now with all this climate change and everything. Or Yes. The number of hurricanes have increased over yeah. the last so 10, he 15, said, 20 years. Living here, I've become somewhat of a weather geek. I also teach it as part of one of my classes. His third app. Is he an instructor? I Apparently. Do you think he's an instructor? At all? We're going to have to. We need him on. I we know. just want to have a conversation, Danny. Come on on, buddy. His third one was My Radar Pro, which I have My Radar, which is the free one, which is awesome. What is it? It's a it's an active radar map of 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 particip- precipitation. I have. I mean, I can show Got you it. if you want. It's like an AccuWeather. Yes. Yes. So absolutely. storm clouds on. Okay. Yeah. So so he's like. Super I deep. usually only use it during monsoon season to see, hey, wh- which way is the which way is the storm com- going or coming. When, how soon before it's going to start raining, especially like if when, before when I used to go to work and I'm on my motorcycle, like, okay, am I, should I wait, let the rain go through? Maybe I'll work an extra two hours that day or, Hey boss, can I leave half hour early so I can beat the rain home? Yeah. And then I'll log in from home and finish my day. That sort of thing. I'd always want you to beat the rain because fucking riding a motorcycle in the rain after rain can't be fun with all the oils here. Yeah. Cause it's barely rains here. Well, and this shit just settles on top. Yeah, it unless it, it's usually the monsoon lasts twenty thirty minutes and blows through, right? Yeah. So sometimes it's I'd rather rain after than rain during. Oh yeah, you know. What well, I mean? that's the obviously that's right. the least so, idea. You know, but that's why I have it is for monsoon season. You know, I like it. Those are some really like I really apps. like that app. Yeah, I really like very that, deep that my radar. And he's really got the good. pro version, so, it must so like, I assume he paid for it. It must give him trends and shit. I'm curious what it costs. Maybe Me the too. pros like five bucks. I assume we'll somewhere about around there. You know, when we, you know, I don't know if you know this, but do you, do you listen to our podcast ever? No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, do you, like seriously. Do you yes, ever of course. Okay. Every when fucking you, Tuesday, Friday. But you listen when they get released, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I do. However, I didn't finish Fridays until today, which is Sunday, Saturday. Oh, okay. But, but you and I, we, we don't listen to our own shit until we actually release it. Like the that's only, correct. the only thing I do is cut the beginning part off and the end part off. I have cut one or two things off inside for my own personal thing that I that I said very incorrectly and I didn't want to create confusion. So I did one time cut something out. Okay. But it wasn't to rearrange it and make it sound different. It was just you really didn't edit a statement it. was removed. Yes. Basically is all that was. And we've removed a statement from a guest or so because they're not familiar with our format conversation, but they style. asked for that. Correct. Right. Okay. That is okay. correct. So we always offer that to our, to our guests, right? Cause they don't know. Yes. So we'll say, Hey, if you felt something was said that you didn't like, we're happy to remove that for you, whatever. Right. But we don't listen to this stuff until day out. The shit that I heard on the last podcast, <laughs> I'm like, Holy shit. I said that. That's what's going to, that's how I feel. This is one's going to be, I'm going to be like, what the fuck were we talking about for the four taxi? hours? All of it. The whole, the apps thing, this whole apps thing is who, Oh man. Okay, bro. Dark sky. Google dark sky. I'm gonna look Here, up Google dark. the dark sky. I'm gonna Google's the dark sky, sir. Google's de cervezas. The dark, dark sky. sky. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna share with you uh Danny, thank you for your contributions. Excellently done. May I share with you the next app of ridiculousness? No. I'm gonna anyway. I really sir? don't want to be here anymore. Neither did I. I didn't want to be here I'm an hour and 17 to minutes today. I don't even like you. <laughs> you, want, you want to switch seats? I don't even like you. Oh, okay. It's, it's more Dark Sky's like a forecast for weather. He's okay. all weather fucking crazy. I love Danny. Danny, do you? does he do a meteorology class? I don't know. Is he the same guy that was bent? Remember the guy at Ember Riddle? The old guy, geezer. He got the bends. That's why he had that little. Oh, I didn't know he had the, the bends. old meteorology guy. Remember the oh, old shaky? Me- I forget. His I name. didn't know he had the bends. He got bent one time because oh. he was he was an I think he was in the navy or he was whatever. He, he was, was a rear admiral. Came up too quick. <laughs> I like rear admirals. <laughs> um, okay, so dark sky. Yeah, that's one. Okay, so it's just another weather. So this one, sir, will you marry me? App? No. Tell tell me what, how not. does this work? I don't know. I'm I'm curious how this works. Can you read me the fine I'm details? I'm also curious. Yeah, I'm going to tell you exactly how this goes. So it's called the Will You Marry Me app? That is correct. And I, I think I am, there might even be a screenshot of it. Let me see if it's in here. The Will You Marry Me app. It basically is an app. Stop it. 
It's an app? Yeah. You download it. And it says something like, will Will you you marry me? me? We're loath to tell anyone how to propose as, as it's entirely up to individuals how and if they ever want to do it. Except for this, do not use this app to propose. This is a line in the sands of society no one should willingly cross. So basically you download it and the app, I think you just hand your person the phone, the one to whom you want to ask the question, and there's a yes or no at the bottom. Dude, okay, hang on. Let me, I'm being serious for a moment. Yeah. Let's say you're you're both deaf. I'm being serious. <laughs> what does it have to do with seeing something? Yes. Okay, don't, whoa, whoa, don't, so instead, don't, don't. <laughs> back, step away from the mark. The, it's a, do you, or do you not think it's a valid question? So instead of using, okay, so you're deaf. So instead of using sign language, okay. you and your, your girlfriend, boyfriend are both deaf. You hand that person the phone and they see the words, will you marry me? Uh-huh. So instead of you sign languaging that to them, you're giving them something to read. That's, they would be very, like, why are you handing me the phone? So instead of you sign language, the question to that person, they would be surprised by that. Other than my last statement, it's the stupidest fucking thing in the world. So you're saying it would be such a surprise for someone who's hearing impaired to get this because, yeah, you'd normally do it visually. You you would do it by using your hands. And you use a different visual aid in this case to do this. This thing doesn't even let me fucking connect. I think it goes along with those, the people that, um, that they propose at the ballparks. Yeah, well, I was just about to go into that. This is what it looks like, by the way. So it's basically an That's, open ring box. It says, will you marry me on the inside of the box? And there's a yes and a no square uh, rectangle and, that you can And touch. the person being asked is supposed to touch the yes or no? I wonder if you text it to them. I, 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 don't, I, I have to download this thing now, but it's got two and a half stars. I can't do it. I'm not downloading any extra shit to get any more of my data out there. Data. <laughs> I need it. But if you say it. no, does it go wah, wah, wah? Oh, that would be great. Bum, bum, ba, da, <laughs> do you have, do you have, the, uh, do you have Drew the, Carey comes do out? Do you have the trombone dump? Womp, womp. <laughs> you mean that one? Yeah, well, and then the if one. it says yes, it goes. Ah, yay! Yay! Hi, yay! Yay! Oh my god! You, you said yes. Oh my Let me just give you my shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why go through the fucking pomp and circumstance? I'll just give you. I'll write hell, a check for half. Hell will be like Club Med. I've been married. So that's the will you marry me, app, sir? That's a deep one. That's deep. Horrible. It's fucking. Except for the deaf. That's there, terrible. Bro, there's worse ones. I know you're going to get the next one wrong, and I can't wait. Oh, God. Because you're going to, what the app is called, you're going to be like, oh, it's this. And I'm like, ha! Like French kissing the taxi, but different? Totally different. But Because <laughs> French kissing a taxi sounds exactly like what they were doing. Okay. And will and marrying people. Marrying the French kissing taxi. Who's our next? Uh, Little Mr. Steve Miller. Patriot. Little Mr. Steve Miller. Well, Mr. Miller. Chrome remote desktop. Love it. Uh, I assume he remotes in for work. I don't I don't know really what that is. Sure. And uh, Sirius XM. Oh, that's a good app. I, I do like that Cons- one. Especially if lot. you have Sirius, right? Yeah, if you, yeah. And then what I like about that is that I can Bluetooth that to my car or to my Bluetooth speaker on the golf course or wherever. Alexa. Play Sirius XM Rock the Bells radio. Somebody's pissed. What's Rock the Bells? LL Cool J, bro. Oh God, bro, that was for that was for our audience. I was fucking with them. Well, you should have them play Slayer or something. No, dude, LL Cool J's got the lips, bro. <laughs> you with the <laughs> gross sounds. I'm sorry, man. It, well, that one's been gone. We've we've addressed our misophonia. That's why I can make all these noises. Oh, God. Third on Mr. Miller's list is the Instagram. The gram of Insta. Yes. That's the one. That, I'm surprised that is the first time that's made it so far. A little surprised. But we're older people, right? Most of the people are middle or older. He's 40. Yeah, but, but 40's, he follows, 40's us. He follows like a lot of foodies and Yeah, but I'm saying 40's stuff. us, so we're yeah. not like in the millennial group. No, no, no. Correct. So we're not Correct. the social media age. We're the pre-social media age. Correct. We really are. We're kind of old fucking dads now without having children it's the weirdest thing yeah so chrome remote desktop serious xm serious xm phenomenal choice yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the last one again instagram Insta. very nice all right sir 
the next fun app that you must download. No. I'm going to give you, it's called SMTH. Now, I thought it stood for something. I thought it sounds for Smith. That's good too, but it's not SMITH. But I, SMTH in like the Twitter world is something. Like okay. Sometimes they shorten it. Like, you know, R, the letter R. I'm and missing the something. The letter U. So anyway, but it actually stands for send me to heaven. What do you think the send me to heaven app is, sir? Well, obviously the first thing I think of is sex and. Interesting. I would have, only if it was seven minutes in heaven would I think it was sex. I didn't even think it was sexual at all. I thought it was something religious. Send me to heaven. Doesn't it sound like an no. app that gives you different ways to live no. your life in a Christian-like way? No, not at all. It sounds pornographic. Okay. Send me to heaven like... Oh, like... Ooh. Like, like that like my was... my face they, Like, that was so orgasmic, it was heavenly. Yeah. Let me show my old face. Oh, oh. You know what I'm talking about. Like that from, <laughs> from Office from Space? From Office Space, yeah. yeah. Uh, Very excellent. Much better. You had a way better. Dirtier mind? I love that. <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed that I didn't come up with that. I, me too. I wish it was called Seven Minutes to Heaven. Then I would have thought it was sexual. Okay. But... So... What it is is... It rates how high you can throw your phone in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what, Are you ready? Here but what go. happens if you drop it and then... There we go. Ready? Yes. Initially, we assumed that send me to heaven might be something that measured number of good deeds you did throughout the day or helped others to create some kind of positive emotion. Sadly, no. It simply involved lobbing your phone. This app records how high you throw your phone and places you on a global leaderboard for the highest throws. Presumably, there are hundred of there are hundreds of scores which could not be logged because of the sheer distance the foes were launched before landing on an unforgivable surface. It was removed by the Apple Store, but still remains on Android. So I might download that one. We might play with that one next time. Are you going to throw your phone? Well, we'll do it here in like little like three feet, little two, foot. three feeters. Yeah, maybe I've got an Android, so and you've got the Apple. You've got a crapple phone, so yeah. Speaking you, of which, what do you uh, call us? Uh, Mac holes. Mac holes. Mac holes with your crapples. Because I'm going to explain this. Please. I have a 2017 iPad 10.5 inch Pro that I spent 1600 fucking dollars on with why? the keyboard and the case why? and the iPad when it was new. It was out. Like, but why did you buy that if you're not a Mac person, not an Apple guy? This was 2017. It was new. And I was trying to be, I was trying to get, I was trying to get on board. I was trying. Okay. Yes. Are you happy now? No, I haven't had. I had, zero, I had an iPod before, like an old click click wheel. Yeah, I had an i whatever. Okay, i so, whatever is my favorite. I buy this thing in 2017, and the thing's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This fall or this spring, uh, I went to Belize, had it fully charged, and either the bra- the battery drained before I could recharge it and get it connected to something without shutting down properly. Yeah. Or, which I know this is the case, Apple fucking updated their iOS. And the one model that is affected negatively by iOS 13 point flippity flop fuck face is yours. Is the 10.5 iPad Pro from 2017. So when I plug it into a fucking cord, it just, the Apple logo comes on and goes off. Comes on. It's just a loop. I've taken it to a MacBook Pro, a Mac Pro store. So the Genius Bar can't help you? No. Are you fucking serious? Do you have Apple Care? That's a hundred bucks. I'm just outside the Apple Care window, so I got to pay a hundred bucks, and then I got to pay four hundred to get it whatever looked at and get it rechanged and refurbished. Might as well buy a new fucking iPad at that point. But they won't acknowledge that their iOS is the one thing that fucked it up. Yeah, and that's why I'm pissed. So I, fuck yeah. you, Apple. I, I, I take I take bolts. We stances, need them, I? dude. I know I need to be a little more passive because I I don't feel that way that strongly about it. I just say strong things. It is a very unfortunate that you got Jack out of sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, because like the next one that I can get is like a newer one is like seven hundred. The 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 pen won't work, the case won't work, and the and the cover won't work. Yes, because it's a whole new correct whatever. Because like, they fuck you every year. Yeah, and I'm I don't mind a quality product, but it should last me more than uh, two, two years two and a half years. Sorry, guys. It yeah, yeah. Especially and uh, whatever. I'm letting it go. Yeah. I'm letting it go, bro. Stuff. I'm letting it go. All right. Are you? So uh <laughs> so send me to heaven. What do you think the highest score is prior to it hitting the ground and not registering? <laughs> Sixty six feet. Point four. 
What? 66.4. Oh. I was just adding a point four to, okay. to your distance. I don't know. Oh, I thought you had the whole thing there. I don't. There's no, Well, it hit the ground. It wouldn't record. Oh, right? oh, I thought you... Never mind. I thought you meant the Fuck. one... I bet you a State Farm commercial, Aaron Rodgers could launch that motherfucker. Yes. I wonder if it calculates horizontal as well as vertical. That's an interesting. I wonder question. if you can how send me to send me to over. Yeah, over yonder, across the pond. Send me to Chuck E. Cheese. I will go to Chuck E. Cheese right now. I okay. love that band. Yeah, hell yeah, the animatronic motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you Chucky's got COVID though. That is the worst fucking tangent I think we've ever had. No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I like Chuck E. Cheese. You yeah. know what's you know what's really popular around here though more than Chuck E's? Chuck E's seems like an East Coast thing more than anything well, else. Well, it's California too. Is it? Okay. Here it's Peter, Peter Piper. Piper. What the fuck? It's gross, dude. Yeah. It's disgusting. Kids love it though. They're like, oh my god, cardboard and fucking ketchup. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> that was the worst impression of a child oh I've, ever, I've ever had. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> cardboard and ketchup. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that's great. <laughs> You're so dumb. Um, thank you. All right, who's the next? Felicia. Uh, are we gonna have words? Or are we gonna be on the same? We've been Felicia and I've got. I feel like we've crossed the divide. Particle I feel streams? like no. I feel like we've we've. What's that thing where you cross the aisle? You shake hands across. The, I feel like she and I have. Done oh, that that's her a, latest yes. choices on fast food and her last uh, things that she uh, she uh, sent us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, start, I'm starting. I'm to glad you Felicia approve of her that. opinion. Well, I approve of everyone's Judgey opinion. Judgerson. I'm just going to shit on it or not. Oh, okay. I approve of everyone's. Don't yeah, don't be shitty shitterson. No, she does. She's doing. We're doing great. Okay, Felicia, we're back on. We're cool again. Oh. I'm going to say hi, Felicia. Cool in the gang. See, that's how much I like her. I okay. said hi, not oh, bye. Okay. So what, what's she like? She's got Instagram number one. Her banking app is number two. That makes sense. And she's a tie for number three. Oh, I'm like, there's a tie app? That would be fucking fine. How every to tie a tie? No, T H A I for food. I thought it was. A oh, tie, food tie food. I thought you meant tie, like how to tie a bow tie, how to tie a Windsor knot. Oh, like a how to, like a tutorial like, yeah, app? Yeah, how to tie a tie. That's a fucking actually great idea. Yeah, you will, or you can just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to pay 99 cents to download it. Yeah. And it's not a video. <laughs> Take your left hand. And strap it over the blah, 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 blah. Take the bunny rabbit's ears and, and put it through, through the fucking tunnel. Uh, her tie for third is YouTube and USA Today. As a fucking app, you just can't type in usatoday.com? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, dude. I'm, don't look at me like that. I didn't write this down, bro. Bro. Your eyes, there's something, you're, they're rolling. What's, this, what's wrong? I feel Maybe the app has a feature that, you know, it's better than on a web browser. I don't know, dude. I, f I feel compelled to say bye, Felicia, again. Okay. But, but you guys next, got back together for like 97 I seconds. Know, but next time when she's back, I'll be hi, hi, Felicia. Okay. I, I don't hold grudges. I, this is just a mini grudge. A tie between you. I would lean towards YouTube. I agree, but I'm not, I don't like. I but don't, you can also go on YouTube.com. Yeah, so I don't watch the like, news either. Yeah, so I'm with you. All right. Cool. Um. No. Are you ready for the... No. Presumably the best... The piece. The resistance. The best app ever. Yes, I'm so okay. excited. I'm going to give you the name. Yes. And you tell me what it does. Uh, it's about sex going to heaven. It's the Tweet P app. P-E-E? -E? Tweet P. T-W-E-E-T. -E -E P is in Peter. E-E. -E. Tweet P. And I have to tell you what that app does. Yeah, go ahead. Good luck. It. <laughs> Tweet P. Uh, I, I... His head's going to explode. I'm just going to jump in. <laughs> Please, we can't have that much dead air. Okay, so what I thought initially was, was like, you tweet every time you go to the bathroom. That's exactly what I thought too. Okay. I thought that too. Okay. It's better than that. Oh, wow. Oh, it's yes. Like so much better. Tweet P consists of a sensor which you attach to a child's nappy. Which What's was, a nappy? Uh, a diaper? The diaper. Oh, this is the British. Oh, okay. Thing. So it is. It's a diaper. I apologize. Uh, it's, it's actually was created by Huggies, I believe. So oh. it is a diaper. Which will send a tweet to the parent when the children urinated and the parent has the option to immediately retweet. And... 
<laughs> Dude, my baby just peed its diaper. Yay! I'm gonna retweet that to the world. I, I do. The first part is not so bad. Alerting you that your child's diaper is wet is totally different than tweeting but to the, the, the world that your part, diaper, that your baby did a, a doo doo. Ter- or pee pee. Or pee pee. Or wee wee. That's bad. Yeah, that's not good. Bro. Like, because what happens if you have an eight year old child and then you get this tweet? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, like, what is bed again? Dude, ch- um, Charles is now in fourth grade. Why the fuck does he have a nappy and why is it still wet and yeah. why are you still tweeting this? Yes. Why did you retweet that one? That's my question. Mom, I can't believe you retweeted that again. <laughs> Mom, why'd you retweet my pee? So, um, I don't think anyone knows wants to know when your child's peed. And I don't think your kid wants to read those tweets like 20 years later. I can't believe you, mom. Mom. <laughs> mom, why'd you retweet that? Dude, that's like naming your child Crystal when their last name is Ball. <laughs> or, you know. Dick Trickle? Richard Johnson. Dick Trickle. <laughs> what's, fel- what's funny is the Dick Trickle was not the fictional character. That was the real one. Yeah. It was Cole Trickle. That was a fictional. Correct. That's scary. Do you bro. remember the HR chick at our last job? The one that smelled of sunflowers? Ashley Storms. No. Yeah. That, that was really? her name, dude. Was is it the one I'm the one I'm thinking of? The uh, cougar? No, she was a young little redhead. Uh, there was a young little redhead HR person yeah. at, at the Bro. What? Her dad was like a pastor. Oh, I would but have she had to a break super, that. She has Oh, sorry. She has a porn name, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, uh, that's a plus, bro. Yeah. That's a real name. Ashley Storms was her name. I knew a, I briefly dated a woman named Candace Candy. No. Or, I'm sorry, Candace Kane. Oh my god! And I would be like, it's Candace by day, Candy by night. <laughs> that's and when she got. Why on the did her parents call her that? Candy Kane. I have no fucking idea. It it makes no sense. Is, to me. Was it Candace cool. with a C, Kane with a K? No, it was CC. That's terrible, terrible. Well, you know. <laughs> words. And words. that was the end of the sentence. That was the end okay. of, well, you know, I don't have no fucking thing to say after that. Um, Look, my dad's got the coolest name. Wolfgang is just the coolest given name ever. Yeah, it's pretty badass. It's pretty fucking badass. Yeah. How many awesome Wolfgangs do you know? Three. Yeah. How many dickhead Wolfgangs do you know? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you need. Your next, your next uh, person. Uh, Teresa is up next. She said, "Is she, she a the Risa or is she a T Risa?" She's a T Risa. We got two T Risas and no the Risas. That's correct. That's weird. She said she could live without all of her apps. Amen. Did Teresa. so for many years. They bring convenience and sometimes entertainment, but not life support. As for the apps, I would miss the most. Ah, I like that. The Facebook, her bank. And Pandora. That's that's a perfect way to approach it. I agree so much with that. Statement. Amen. To I agree. All of that. That's a great, great Thank you, non theresa That's correct. Teresa. Teresa. We need to get the two the two Teresas together. Okay. That'd be a Would the world show. implode? Is that like ha- hooking antimatter and matter together? Yeah. Probably. All right. Now this one I don't think you're gonna ever understand when I explain what the app's titled. I don't think you're going to get it. Okay. Like tweet P, but different electric razor simulator. You'll never guess what that does. Does that simulate an electric razor? What the f- dude? Did you wa- Did you read this? I, yes. You fucking cheater. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a number of apps along this line of innovation to befoul both iOS and Android. If you purchase with actual money, an app, an app which displays the picture of a razor and buzzes, then you need to rethink so many things. Why would you do that? You won't prank many friends with this app. You'll lose them. Why? Yeah, I agree. Why and, would anyone download that? Uh, Why would anyone develop that? Did you not listen? You have to pay for it, too. Yeah, I, I know. Well, the reason is because people can sell that shit. Wait till you get to I got one that you're going to be like, bro, I'm out. You're like going to do this, like check your, you know, yeah. sh- shake your yeah. wrist. Like when Black you change Jack. dealers. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You're going to be like, I'm out. I'm just done. And you're going to walk out of like here. I and do be like, with the dogs when I don't have any more food. Right. And we're not going to have the sub facts interview podcast later. Yeah. Because you're just going to fuck walk out when I tell you this. <laughs> Can I just walk. jump out the window? No, because I need, I don't want to have to replace the window. I'll open the window first. 
Well, then uh, you're going to take a screen out, too? I'll take the screen okay, out. Okay, if you carefully do that, you can jump. And from then second carefully story. get over the table. <laughs> carefully. I'll move the table. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll do that for okay, you. Okay, I appreciate your assistance you. with this <laughs> endeavor. Oh, boy. Now, after the non the Risa. Yes, we have Rod uh, down in the GA. He said the Weather Channel. Is he uh, a Georgia boy? No, he's Oh, he's the he Rod guy. There. I got yeah. you. Uh, his banking app and Google Map slash Waze. Yeah. So we got some repeats there. A little bit, but those are smart. Waze is the one. Waze yeah. Is the one. All right. Um, I don't know if I can do this one. Okay. You want to skip it? No. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> there, I've got three left. No, four, four left on this. Okay. How many more people you got? Uh, Just curious. Five, six, ten. Eight. Perfect. This app is called I Am A Man. Okay. What do you think I Am A Man is about? Uh, prescription drugs, and if you're assigned at birth as a male. <laughs> assigned male at birth? Yes. No. I thought it was like, dude, you're a bro. You kick ass. Kick ass, bro. Bro. You're a man. <laughs> bro. I thought it was like just like. Platication, bro platitudes, stuff. like yeah, I thought it was like encouragement. What's that like cheering you on? Like yeah. go, bro, get him, kick his ass, bro, kick his ass, sea bass. That that that. that kind yes, of thing. yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what it is though. No. Check it out. The idea of a man checking a woman's menstrual cycle oh is a little creepy. God, as there's very few reason this wouldn't be used as an invasive monitoring tool. But let's give the app the benefit of the doubt, shall we? No. Maybe it's for p- family planning for hopeful fathers. Somehow, maybe. Here are the app's descriptions of its features. Number one, it's kind of like Fight Club. Number one, (laughs) trace your girlfriend's periods. Number two, trace your girlfriend's periods. Number three, set a master password for the whole program. Four, set personal passwords for every girl. Five, make calls by simply tapping on her name. Uh, What's it called again? I am a man. It doesn't even make sense Which that you call that. What do you call do? it? Menstruality? Or track your girls. Period. Well, that sounds like you're a stalker. But I am a man, period. <laughs> <laughs> I am a man. Comma, period. Period. Period, period, actually. Yes. But yes. Just saying. Period, 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 actually. Be, I am a man, period. The word period, period. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Grammatically, yes. Grammatically, that's just the way we're going to do That's horrible, dude. Yeah, track a woman's menstrual. And you have you can have different Multiple women. Multiple girls. Like you have your mom. Well, no, but if you had like, let's say you're dating three right. or four girls. Right. Then you're like, oh, Stephanie's on her period this week. Yeah. I'm going to call Brittany. I'm going to Cindy's house. Right. On Tuesday. That's horrible. Because that chick is going to be PMSing out. <laughs> What's that called? Horny? No, the other, the bad one, the other one, like, see, I'm going to Cindy's house because Jennifer's PMSing. Oh, okay. Or what, raging, yes. what's that, raging hormones or whatever. I, I like, uh, no one can see you putting your hands in the air. <laughs> I feel like Kermit. I'm Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like I'm a few weeks ago when no one saw you playing air guitar, but different. Oh, yeah, when I was doing the banjo, ding, ding, ding. No, when no that was on the, the video. checkmark air guitar. Oh, it's the checkmark air guitar. <laughs> de, de, the check de, guitar. De, 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 did it, did it. Yes. And we spoke over the intro, bro. How rude of you. I'm so sorry, Jess, that we spoke over the Jess, intro. we love you. <laughs> and I am addressing this because we just I just got the feedback. One of our one of our good friends, Jess Ms. Garcia. Senorita. With a very adorable dog who reacts and wakes up when a doorbell rings allegedly. Did allegedly. you see the video yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. Very, very cute. cute. Very cute. And then I sent pictures of Megzi's dogs. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this. No. They're all like different shapes and angles. And... Is one staring at the wall? Well. How's that Twitter account coming? I had a hankering for wiener. <laughs> <laughs> did you have wieners on your mind? Wiener. I had wieners on my mind. I couldn't think of the fucking <laughs> phrase. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I, had, I had two wieners on my mind. Whoa. And then I took, took picture. I took a picture of my two wieners. But I actually have three. Whoa. Hey, now. Whoa. Actually, Megzi has all three of them. Let's be honest. This is true. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, if you'd like to track multiple girlfriends, menstrual, so, or just multiple is that people, still a real app. Um, I'm going to look it up after this. I okay. don't have the time to. I don't have the wherewithal. Okay. The energy. We're going to do two years. Okay. Two Roberto years. said ways. Roberto. Roberto Cardenas. Uh, group me. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I don't even is know. Is that a, like a group yeah. chat app? Sounds like a group. Yeah, it sounds like a group I chat. I assume I don't know. And it probably is like so nerdy because it's like so 
tight knit, like community wise. It that could like, be. You know it, and your three best friends know it, and that's all you guys use, and no one else uses it. That's possible. Could totally very well be possible. Yes. And the chive. Oh, the chive, like chive on. Yes, but I don't. I didn't know that was an app. I didn't know it was an and app I didn't, either. I don't know anything about it. I would think I do YouTube over Chive app. Is, I'm assuming Chive is is it just, video or is it memes? Well, there's a Chive TV. Yeah, I knew that. So I'm wondering if it's kind of mixes the memes and the video okay. in one. But couldn't you just YouTube all that shit? You could. I'm just wondering if you could YouTube all the Chive stuff, or if there's some Chive specific things that YouTube doesn't have access. I I don't know. Yeah. So that's a good. But yeah, that's different. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one for sure. Yeah, I like it. Uh, next was Abel. Oh, did he pick any movie app? <laughs> no. He should have. Should have. Uh, weather should have Channel. His, he should have picked three movie apps that all allow him to tell you why his stuff is the best. That's absolutely <laughs> accurate. Uh, weather Channel, his bank, and PayPal. Weather Channel, bank, and PayPal. Okay. PayPal's a good one. Yeah. But couldn't you just use PayPal with your bank? Can't you like lock them together and then you just need one? I app don't for the know. Two? I'm just asking. Yeah, bro, because don't... my PayPal is linked to my bank. Right. So I'm just saying, don't get mad at me. Don't it? No, yeah, yeah. Don't kill the messenger Fuck, questioner. Dude, shit. All right. So let's go through those six again. We had Roboito. We had uh, Waze. Waze, Group Me, The Chive. Group Me and The Chive. Weather Channel, The Bank, and The PayPal. Perfect. All right, my friend. Try to see if you can guess what this app is now. Oh, dear Lord. Um, Pimple. It's called Ghost Radar. Okay. Take a guess what this app would do. You, you, try, you use it to try to find ghosts. There's a radar on your screen that goes bloop, bloop, to find ghosts. How, how, how does it detect these spirits? Well, it has to detect one first before it knows how. Because users to date have not discovered any ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so it's completely ineffective. It's like and just it's basically seven dollars. Like, it looks per- like the spyware thing. Remember the yes, spyware yes, old beep, yeah. beep. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's three hundred forty six dollars, no, and it's completely <laughs> shit, completely useless. So I'm gonna download it in ten seconds. Oh yeah, totally. Um, because I need to detect nothing. Detect nothing. That's what they should have called it. <laughs> detect this. It should. You know, it should be like. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, that's funny. All right, bro. Two oh. more. Let's go double with you again. Double two yeah, champion. Totally. All right. Super senior executive producer. Mary, 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 why you bugging? Mary, Mary. And by the way, is it a birthday coming It up? is her birthday. Today, physically? Today. Or two d- happy fucking birthday, Mary. Happy birthday. Yay. Thank you to our super senior executive producer, Mary, for making this thing possible. Her first app is Tesla. They just got a Tesla about ten days ago. Yeah, you have to. You can't. So, you can't even function the vehicle without it. I don't. And think. I told them what you told me that their stereo system goes to eleven. Eleven. And that it, it, their model it does not. It's only one specific. It's not all Teslas. It's only one model. Is it the Spinal Tap model? Yes. Okay. Good. They didn't get the Spinal Tap edition. No, that was <laughs> it's uh, next to the Harley Davidson. Edition. Yes. It goes to 11. These go to 11. 11. Uh, did she make a dance yet? Or do its little, did she do choreography yet? I don't think so. Is it the three, the Model 3, the least, or is it like a P100? I don't know. Okay, I need to know I will the see it today. I need the model, my friend. I will let I you know. I know the make. I bet it's a Tesla. You know shit. <laughs> uh, don't get mad at me for that. Yeah. So Tesla app is an absolute, mo- I don't think you can even drive the Tesla without, without the phone the and without the app. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. You don't need the car. You need the app to make the fucking. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Well, that's how control. Works. Yeah. I'm not. I have not seen it yet. I, I will wait. not see it. Till I base a Model Three. I'm this afternoon. Guess. Do are they are they well off? Really? No. Well off? I mean, I think it's a Model Three. But they're retired. You know. Yeah, but it jump. That's a huge difference in money. Like you can get a Model Three in the thirty forty thousand dollar range. The next step up is like seventy eighty thousand. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm I no. Know. Like the P one hundred D, the one that has ludicrous mode and shit. Yeah, we've like never really discussed grand. money, so I, I couldn't yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. Nor would I ever ask know. anyone to talk about money. Yeah. And, and and regardless of the model they get, 
you could have a gazillion dollars and still get the base model because you just need you yeah just, you just you're want, a minimalist yeah you want something electric yeah. and you want something responsible right. and this and that yeah you could totally do you could buy yeah. a Nissan fucking Leaf if you want yes, for God's correct. sakes you could That's be a gazillionaire correct. I mean yeah doesn't Larry David drives a goddamn Prius doesn't he I for, don't know for Christ's sake and by the way did you hear that Jess our other crack research staff Jess Garcia what. Yeah, what she told us? No, because she heard, she listened to our podcast about the religion. She heard my Bernie. She heard my brother. Da, 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 da. And she loves Bernie. Oh, Bernie, yes, Bernie, Bernie Sanders. She said that she, that Larry David and Bernie are actually related. No way. So I'm gonna look that up. But I believe her, 100 percent believe her because she's she's crack research staff. Bro. Well, yeah. So thank you, Jess Garcia, for sharing that. Now I could do both, and I sound like both when I talk like this. Come on, man, that's a pretty good. Bernie. It's good. You, come on. They did good with the reading and the arithmetic and the math. And we need infrastructure. We need people to get paid for college. We need roads. Okay. We need Thank children. you. Thank you. And That's all. Your two minutes are up. <sighs> Wrap it up, bro. Dude, I got, if I were him, I've already gotten knocked out by my own party months ago, bro. Two, my two minutes aren't up. I've, my months are up. Yes, that is correct. I'm gone. Yes. All right. Super Next up. Mary. Okay. So Mary's uh, done. Give us a three from Mary again. Well, we did never got to the other two. <laughs> Because Bernie showed up. Fuck! Dipshit. Okay. Tesla to Nest. The thermostat. Oh, for the the Nest thermostat is, app. Yes. So you can change the air, the air conditioning, the heat, and the temperature in your house. Isn't also like house. the Nest, like the whole Wi-Fi mesh system? Or no? Is it just... I like don't ring, know. The ring... Tell it like Nest the, is the temperature, the thermostat in your house. Right. In addition to that, I don't know. I, I know you can... It connect gives to you, Amazon and I don't know about that. I know you can do... It'll give you a report for like a monthly report, how many hours per day your system was running. So it does a bunch of statistics as oh, well. Wow. Cause very I get cool. that shit every month and I'm like, okay, oh, you that's saved very cool. 29% compared to your neighbors and this kind of shit. Like, Oh, okay. Thanks. Very neat. Uh, all right. Whatever. But I yeah, do. I like to be able to, you know, if I'm coming home, I'll turn the air down a degree. Yeah. So the house isn't scorching when I get there, you know, that's a great. idea. So, uh, and lastly was ways since COVID I've just left at the same fucking temperature. Okay. Because what do we have? Like, we're on that time. Of, I'm on that time of use thing. Oh, okay. And the time of use is between 2 and 8. P, uh, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Yeah. So basically, it's only six hours. I'm like, why would I lower the temperature and then have to bring it the fuck back up when I get back? Or bring it back down. I'm sorry. Why would I raise the temp? It's so backwards with air conditioning. Don't we say when we turn it up, we actually want it cooler? Yes. It's fucking stupid. Yes. So air conditioning temperature down as I turn it up when I leave to cool it back down to the original temperature I like. My brain hurts. It it all I care about, dude, is your house is always comfortable. Yeah. And I really, really appreciate oh, that. Oh, is it comfortable enough? Abs okay, good. It always it, is. And if I, it never is, I will you, come say to, you come to me and I'll, I'll come to I'll, Big Papa. I'll send you to Megzi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if she's not here, I'll talk to the wiener dogs. Me Megzi likes comfortable house, which means I like a comfortable house. That's correct. That's yeah. how that works, no, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, so next up was... Waze? Uh, yes. Nest, test, nest, and Tesla. Nest and Tesla. Test, nest, and, and West. Correct. It really was all that shit. Tesla, nest, and ways. I love it. Thanks, Mary. And once again, happy birthday! Yay! She's uh twenty nine again. You for know the it. X amount of time. Sexy twenty nine. Which anniversary? I'm curious. I'm gonna guess. Okay. Sixteenth anniversary of her twenty ninth birthday. Yes. Is it? Yes. Fuck yes. Good job, dude. You're welcome, man. Yeah. I, that probably is not good because people can do the maths. That's not accurate. And they're like, fuck. I lied, but that's fine. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's way off? Uh-huh. Way off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ways off? Yes. Can right. I get ways to find out her actual age? Yes. You have to Let's, pay. That's ways pro. Oh, fuck. To figure out birthdays, it's ways pro. <laughs> it's birthdays with a Z? Yes. It's birth ways. <laughs> birth ways. <laughs> Ew, is that all different ways you can give birth? C-section. Natural. Say, just... <laughs> that would be the worst app ever. <laughs> Which way do you give birth? C-section or dad? Will you give birth? Yes or no? <sighs> oh, shit. That's just awful. One more? Yeah, one more, please. My cousin Jose. Jose! Now, we've talked about this because we've interacted. We're trying to engage a lot more, right? Yes. So we're trying to figure out how... Uh, who's going to respond? And we don't want to burn our bridges by asking the same people, but it seems like we're getting good responses without feeling people feeling annoyed. Yes. Is that still what's going For on? For the most part, yes. Okay. If we ever annoy anyone in, in there, oh, out yeah. there, in they the world, can just tell let me us to, know. Tell me to fuck off. But, 
but we're happy to ask and we love we we actually need your responses but obviously if you don't want to be part of that i totally understand yes but we'd love to have your responses so thank you for all the contributors absolutely including jose and hose b all the hoses all the cd Jace. all through he, he goes by joe now does he but um interesting yeah. I saw a George. I saw a guy J O R G E mm-hmm. from Mexico. Yeah, pronounce his name George. That's it's, it's possible. Is that a normal thing? No, because that's not. It's Jorge. Right? It's Jorge. Jorge. Jace. Okay. So Jose. Jose says. I mean Joe. Yes. Sorry. Jose Luis said Outlook. Cookie Jam, which I assume is a game. I don't know. It's got to be like yeah. That's the first game. Yeah, correct. Real like not a single Candy Crush, no birds that are angry. <laughs> I forgot about those like, fuckers. Yeah, think about like Candy Crush is still big, right? I don't I, know, Bedazz- bejeweled or whatever, bedazzled, bedazzled, bejeweled, same. Two twenty, whatever. whatever it took, bro. But yeah, that's the first game. Yeah, okay. And lastly is Ring. Is that the the doorbell? Doorbell. Yeah. So Very you can see good. who's there yeah. and all that shit while you're playing your candy cookie candy cookie, cookie crush. Munch. No, 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 cookie. Jam. Cookie crisp. Cookie yep. crisp. Remember that? Yes. Did that sound a little bit like it? It was very good. Thank you, man. I, I always ha- I need constant affirmations and plat- whatever I can do to help. Platications. Yeah. All right, sir. Second to last shitty app. You have to pay for it. Uh oh. According to this, it looks like sixty nine pence. So let's just say it's a ninety nine cent app. Let's sure. just say that. It's called Hold On. What do you think you're paying 99 cents to get? Your phone to vibrate. And it it vibrates faster and faster and you try to keep holding on to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the game in uh, Dave and Buster's, the electricity shocking thing. Yes. And then you have to like hold on? Yeah. Is that what you think it's like? Yeah. That's that's probably the best guess. Out of all the two guesses we've had. That is the best incorrect guess of all <laughs> the incorrect guesses we've had so far. Are you ready? No. For the privilege of timing how long you can touch the screen. The privilege. Privilege. You pay, you pay money. Fuck you. To download an app that has a little square button or a rectangle and you put, put, touch it with a finger or thumb as long as you can. Like the Send Me to Heaven app, it's how long you can keep your finger onto the screen and, and you pay for it that's idiotic yeah you know how many fucking people probably paid it whatever cents for that shit hundreds of do- thousands yeah this is why we need to create an app bro okay after this doing all this research first of all i have like 52 app ideas and none of them are worse than the best idea that we've come across <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so yeah so hold on no. Pay 99 cents. Hold on. Fuck off. Or 69 pence according to whatever yes. this was. A dollar. Yeah. A pound. And well, when you have the exchange rate of 1.6, 1. 1.2. 1. Sure. Whichever that takes. Yeah. And then you're back up to 99 cents. Okay. I'd rather buy a 99 cent something at the dollar store. Lollipop. Mmm, diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather sure. buy a mini chimichanga. Yeah, I'd rather get something at the Wendy's dollar value. Menu, yes, you know? uh, what do you call it? Four those? nuggets, a frosty. Oh fuck, vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate, bro, bro. Did you see uh, Tatiana's tweet about not having an In and Out in the Canadia? Yeah, I did not. Oh man, such a shame. She does not have an In and Out in the Canadia. Yeah, there's she was many, listening many, to the many podcast places while she was on a walk and she had not eaten, and she's starving after <laughs> after the talks talking about our foods. I get it. Yeah, because we really know our fucking fast yeah. food. Duh. And so I told her to go to Vegas with her with her hubby and the kids. Yeah. Her, take a vacation. Go to somewhere that has an In-N-Out. You'll be covered. We're good to go. The reason for your visit? Um, In-N-Out burger. <laughs> I need a visa. I am far too looking for a visa, please. I need visa to go get the in and the outs if I were check marks. Check marks in and out. We need, it's a fast food vacation trip. Oh my god, that would be phenomenal! It's like I am, I'm doing a test study. Yeah, I need my Lipitor <laughs> and my Tums. And <laughs> How, what's funny is we had Zaxby's come up, right? Yeah. All I see on those fucking college commercials are that college yes, football commercials because it's in the South, the SEC, yeah, right? Yeah, those yeah, yeah. Looks Zaxby's, good though, right? That that's what I've heard. I've not had it, so but I just know that they're everywhere down there. They're yes. like 
they're very popular, at yes. least, for game day. Yes. All right, sir. How many more do you have? Three? Four. Think, you have four more. Okay, so yeah. you do two. Okay. I will do the last one. Okay. And then we'll watch that one down. Actually, you know what? Do your four. I got to close on this. That's cool. I'm down. All right, bro. So Golf Chris said, Candy Crush, LOL. Bro. Yeah, he's like 45-year-old dude playing Candy Crush. And I was like, dude, I approve that so hard. I was I, I, I laughed. I was like, I love that, dude. I thought it was great. I wish he was playing Angry Birds still. Because <laughs> that one, to me, was just so much fun. I never play. I, I can't. You slingshot fucking animals at other animals. I know. How, how bad could that be? Shit. Yeah. And even other birds. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny that we got we, we're getting a run on the games now. All well, of a sudden, two. I know that's two. That's two. Two. No, I like it. I like that they're still playing games. It's funny we talked about our neighbor. What what happens in our playhouse? What's this called? What is Megzi's? Either a treehouse or a playhouse. He calls it a playhouse. How did how did tell me this story on the playhouse thing? Yeah. How did this happen? How did you hear this? Because I didn't hear. Megan just Megzi told me that Uncle John said. Oh, they're in their playhouse again. Or the treehouse or playhouse. I forget which one it is. And she goes, yeah. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I will say something about Uncle John. Hi, yeah. Uncle John. Hola. He plays a game that does a dling, dling. I'm downstairs and I hear like, and I'm like, I smile every time. Like he hits whatever big thing. It's like, bling, bling. Fucking love it. Yeah. Be a kid, man. I agree. Yeah. Be a fucking kid. Yeah. When I, when I got that back from golf, Chris, I started laughing. I was like, dude, that is so awesome. I, I totally approve that. It, it cracked me up. I approve that message. Yes. Next was Amazon. And lastly was ESPN from Golf Chris. That's the first Amazon. No. Amazon, Amazon. It oh, is. yeah, yeah. You're right. That's crazy. Considering Amazon, the shopping that we do on Amazon. Yeah. Now, yeah. I didn't even, I'll be honest. I didn't fucking think about that. And that's got to be, it's got to be one of mine. Anyway. All right. So third one. Uh, next up oh. is Georgia guy. Let's number do the three again for, uh, candy crush, Amazon, ESPN. Oh, that's right. ESPN. Georgia guy. Number one, the score. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a sports app. I'm going to guess, but I'm going to look it up. Uh, maybe it teaches you how to score with 25 different types. Yeah. Of it's, it's amp plus two. It's amp plus two. Oh, we need 26 types of women. Yeah. Uh, ways. Is that one for every hour? Is that why they fucking did 24? I'm not sure. It had to have, right? Two, maybe it's two per month. I mean, it's one an hour. Okay. Dude, bro, you're on amp. You're amped up on amp energy drink. You're probably fucking like a, like a rabbit coming out of uh celibacy class. In wintertime. <laughs> The score. I love you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. What? Ha, why do you not believe when I say it now? That last one, you did not believe me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, there it is. Live sports apps. Blah, 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 blah. Great choice, Georgia boy. We only got one Georgia boy? Yeah, we only got one this week. Uh, you know what, though? Kudos to Georgia one, GB1. He he is GB1 always? Has he always been GB1? Most, yes. Okay, congratulations, man. Thanks for, thanks for contributing. The score weighs and relay pro for Reddit. Relay Pro. I don't know what that is. I'm either. sure that's something to do with Reddit. Yeah. So, well. And Pro, too. This dude pays money for apps. Cash money. I'm a cheap motherfucker when it comes to that shit. Are you looking that up? Relay Pro? Yes. For Reddit. Yeah, I'm looking that shit up. Right before. So are those all of the choices of the others? Uh, no, we have two guys left. Oh, well, then let's get let's get through these. Uh, Mr. Aiken said BBC News. BBC, of all things. Interesting. It's outside the U.S. It is, you but get a it's, different perspective. Yeah, but it's also biased from a BBC lens. It is absolutely. So that's, but that's not good nor bad. I'm not. It, it's just it's just more information. Yeah, but it can be more. It can get you confused for sure. I'm not, I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah, all news I'm just can, saying, right? like, obviously the the sender of the news is sending it from their perspective. Like, we're not going to kid ourselves. That's interesting though, because BBC is a very good, but they tend to be a little more liberal which is not a problem at all but they're very like NPRish right kind of oh i would okay. guess bbc is very npr very pbsish like very yeah in a weird way they're they're awesome i love bbc stuff sure bbc news uh ways and shazam shazam's a great one and finishing up my buddy matt said the dictionary app 
Fuck yes. I was like, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's pretty is it awesome. Miriam or Webster? I Miriam and Webster. Damn it. It's Miriam Eif and Webster. Damn, Damn it. it. I typed uh, it in. But he's like, you know, I can always look that up on the on the web browser, you know? But uh, lastly, he said, he only gave two. Dictionary and Amazon. Amazon. That is all Let's the submissions Amazon. for the week, sir. All right, sir. So now it's down to you and I? You know it. Are we going, we're going to go you, me, you, me, you, me? Sure. Fuck yeah. Do you have any on your mind? Yeah. All right. We're, we got to almost call this a day. Not that we're calling this a day, but actually we're calling this a half day because we've got about a four hour conversation coming up, don't we? <laughs> yes. Uh, in about a half an hour. Well, one, I can tell you, I, I have this fucking app called true caller, which is supposed to block spam calls. Yes. And I guess I get four spam calls a day. You mean like you get spam texts too from like Lindsay um, Robinson? Yeah. And a bunch of other whores. So, <laughs> I, I, well, that's not slander because you didn't actually call anyone specifically a whore. Is that correct? Well, I just want to be clear. It, I just use the word whore instead of bitch or the C word is basically, I just substitute the word. I, I'm totally cool. I just want to make sure that we did not call a specific person that we just afferment, who was aforementioned a whore. That's correct. We do I, not need I slander. I did not. Right. That is correct. I just want to be clear. Yeah. Okay. So I definitely don't want that app because it doesn't fucking <laughs> it doesn't work. Doesn't fucking work. Because I still get a bunch of spam calls every day. Oh, that's beautiful. So, um, I. Uh, well, that's not helping. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. What are your favorite apps? Okay, I'm gonna have to go with SiriusXM. Serious XM because I do cr- love Liquid Metal. It's beautiful. I app. do love Hair Nation, and that you can they can uh, pair it with your, you know, with yeah, your, and with I your listen to speaker. it in the car. Yeah, totally. And especially on road trips, you're like, oh, you know what, man, I'm t- let's change the channel to 80s on eight. Let's change the channel to da 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 da. Today's the tenth. Yeah, my subscription renews on the fourteenth. Yeah, I'm just letting that shit renew. Okay, because it's fucking Serious XM, man. I got the Honda. You got to drive around with the Serious XM with the don't didn't didn't bevel the don't be the evil didn't bevel. <laughs> and then we're good to go, my friend. Yeah. Cool. I, I like I it. mean, okay. I have to, that's serious be... XM is number one. Yeah. My number one. Yeah. Shazam. Shazam. I'm going to say Shazam. Cause okay. I need to, I hear songs everywhere and I love all music. Yes. When I hear something that resonates, I go, damn, that sounds catchy. It may not be something I normally listen to, but it might be just something catches my ear. And I'm like, Toof. I yep. throw that shit up there. I dig boom. it. Muzak's everywhere. They play music everywhere now. They don't play like, they play actual songs, it seems like, versus, you know, like Muzak stuff. Yes. So it's much better. Um, so I like, I'm going to go with Shazam. Did I ever tell you about this, the Muzak uh, two jobs that they have at Muzak? No. So remember when Muzak was just, dun, dun, dun. yeah, it was just uh, elevator I used music? to pay them. Yes. And we connect them to their phone systems. Correct. And it was like this generic music. Either, yeah, and then some, they had a bunch of channels you could yeah, select from. Christmas correct. carols, yeah, holiday, and, whatever. But it was like generic music. Right? Yeah. It was like the, the instrumental elevator, version. Elevator music. Yeah, the instrumental versions yes. of pop hits and like correct. a Burt Baccarat lighter. St. Elmo's lighter. Fire on yes. repeat. Yeah. Okay. Well, now they start doing music like because they copyright music. Just yeah, like they Mariah Carey. Else. Yeah, anything they want. There are two jobs at Muzak where... You are the music chooser to create a feel or an atmosphere or a, like a vibe. Wow. That would be, if, if there was a paying job that you had to work for someone else, that would be my fucking dream job. No They'd shit. Like, I want you to create an environment of happiness or joy. Yeah. I want you to create like a more serious vibe. I want you to create a relaxing vibe. Dude, I would be, oh, I know exactly what music would fit and how it would move you and motivate you. Like, oh, I want to clean the house. Oh, we're playing fucking nine inch nails. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. know what's going to get you amped up, right? Yeah. Like we're going to hot topic. Oh, I'm throwing in fucking head like a hole. Right. <laughs> but if we're going to like, uh, What's I'm thinking like uh, Aunt? Uh, what's that one Cajuny restaurant place around here? Aunt Papagos. Mays? Oh, Papagos. Pa- yeah, Papagos. 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 Right. D e a u x. Correct. Apostrophe s. Papagos. Right. Yeah, they play like yeah. Saints go marching in and shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I would that would be dream job for me. Yeah, dream job. So there's two of those spots open. So uh, if if there's another open, I mean, I can't imagine not, anyone not killing someone else to get that job, like literally killing someone else, because that job, you just pick music and listen to music all day. How does that fucking work? That's pretty amazing. That's the best work I would fucking ever want to do. That's pretty amazing. Anyway, so Shazam, 
Is Yay. Number, one? number two, sir. I'd have to go with Amazon because it's, I, it is very, oh, hey, I forgot to order Powerade. What, you know, whatever, you know? Yeah. Tell it, Amazon, you get in for 119 bucks a month, you get for a year, you get free shipping. So it's, to me, it's just, you know, I lost my golf head cover the other day and I ordered a new one. And two days later, I got a new Roxy lookalike boxer golf driver cover. Boom. $22, you know? I thought we needed a cable to hook up with these guys that we're going to do our next interview. Yeah. With whom we're going to do next interview. I found that cable in my stash. However, I was about ready to jump on Amazon and do the same thing. And I, I would have had it here before this before this thing was kicking off. Yeah. Fucking Amazon, man. It's beautiful. That is a great choice. I'm shocked already, though, because we've already gotten to three. I thought five of our six would be food related. Just so you know. Yeah. My, my second is going to have to be... Um, it's going to be DoorDash. No, that's wrong. McDonald's app. McDonald's app. Yeah, because they have deals. Dollar fries every day. Like dollar a, large fry. Large fry. Yeah, okay. it's three twenty nine normally. I'll pay a buck. Three twenty nine. They charge three twenty nine for large fries now. Shut. Or three fifty nine. It's some fucking ridiculous. I'm not no joking. Way. So a dollar fry is perfect. Secondly, they have dollar coffee all day. And they have an app that when you buy five coffees, you get a free McCafe drink of any kind. I get like a $4 banana strawberry smoothie thing. Wow. So I spend five bucks and get a $4 drink free. Hello. That's like, and it's coffee. I'm going to drink that How shit anyway. How is the coffee? It's delicious. Really? Yeah. Their coffee is great. McDonald's, wow. is, McDonald's is very much focused on their McCafe thing and done very, done a very good job. For fast food people, probably top, top of the line. Coffee wise, okay, yeah, really good. And their fruit smoothies are good, whatever. But like five five dollars gets you a four dollar drink. Uh, I I don't know any better deal than that. So you're getting it back anytime, and you're drinking the coffee anyway. Like you're not, you know, it's not like you're wasting. And the, a dollar is cheap at yeah, Circle for K, a large coffee. Circle K, you can't even get a dollar coffee. Right, it's you 20, to, 20 ounces. Yeah, you used to be able to get ninety nine cents, but not anymore. Yeah, so that's a dollar across the board for the large coffee, twenty ounce. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Um, and then what is got, that normally without the app? Uh, no, it's just a dollar. It's dollar oh, anyway. Okay. But what's cool about the app part is you get tracked. So every five oh. that you buy, you get a free cafe drink. Yeah. Of any size of drink. any kind. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So you get like a frappuccino or a flippity floppy. Right. And yeah. I get the banana. I get smoothie. the fruit smoothie because it, yeah. it's like four bucks worth. Like, yeah. and it's really delicious. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have it because of sugars, but right. Know, once every once in a while. You're worth okay. it. Am I? You absolutely My kidney's worth it. it. My heart. Yeah. Is not worth it. All the organs. <laughs> All right. So it's McDonald's app would be mine too. Good job. Number three, sir. I'm going to have to go with Ticketmaster. Delicious, man. That's a unique and good choice. Not in today's climate, but when it when we get out of this, after everybody dies or lives, I'm sorry. After, after everybody lives. After everyone survives the COVID because it, it's not because of buying tickets. It's because in the past several years, all tickets are going to non-paper. So you have to have the app to get into concerts. Yeah. So I had from March from March 2020 to September 2020, I had tickets to five shows. Obviously, they were all canceled. All five were on the app. Right. Like to walk into the LA Coliseum, I had to have your phone. My phone. Yeah. I had to have the app. What, good, they don't just, good, they just email it to you like the email you the pdf version because that's how i get it i don't use an app i order and then they email me the they email I me the, the jpeg could, or the pdf i believe you could do that as I'm well just, saying, just a workaround but it is nice to have the app yeah well for you as an avid music goer yeah and specific so music goer, you can just go like you go in the app they go your tickets oh and especially like when i saw maiden four times in eight days there, yeah. boom, there's all, boom, 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 there's the four shows, there's all your seats, there's, here's the directions to all four venues, nice. here's the parking requirements, you know what I mean, so it's like, everything was right there, so I don't, I don't have to worry about it, I can just click a button, and it goes, here's all your shows, here's your previous shows, whatever, so. Well, it's organized, and like I said, it makes your life easy, it's an actual tool that you use, it's yes. not like just sitting there taking up data. Correct. Beautiful. Or data, but it's, because it's such, it's now a requirement to get into shows a, a lot. And there's a couple other one called access and another ticket delivery system. Well, there's Eventbrite too now that's yes. doing music. So there's, and it's not things. just Ticketmaster, but there are several other venues and ticketing right. systems that 
you must have the app. So it's not even a PDF in your email oh, anymore. Wow. It's you have to have this to yeah. get into the venue. So it gets you coming it's the and going, way man. of the world it's now. Control, yeah. I it is, it's an, it, for good or bad. It's convenient and control. I mean, if both. I want to go see right. XYZ company, whatever the hell, I have to do that. Right. It's the, you have to play by the rules to get the results you want. Right. It for me to go to the show, I got to do this. So I do. So here's my slight diatribe on my third one. Go. And I love, I love that because of just the amount that you use it to. Like some people have, I have apps on my phone. I look through, I, I must've downloaded them at some point. They weren't preloaded. And I'm like, well, how the fuck did I get this? And why am I even looking at it? So I have like 800 of those. 800. It, I'm going to start going through my phone just after this conversation. Okay. But not right after, because we have a... Not right, right after, but right after. We have after. like a two-hour fucking uh, thing after this. Hour 45. So. Cool. Whatever it takes. You got two and a half to, before your heart stop. Mary's birthday! Yay! Happy birthday, Mary! Woo! Um, my third is Amazon. Has okay. to be. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this, though, because 99% of the apps, you ha there's still a web browser component of it. Yes. I consider Chrome uh, a feature of the phone. I consider phone, call, text, navigation... And web browsing as four of the tenets of a phone now preloaded. So when you so those won't count in as an app. When you me. get a Google, I'm sorry, an, an Android phone, a Samsung phone. Yes. What's the web browser? Chrome. Google, Google Chrome. It's Chrome. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Chrome. I didn't it's preloaded. The reason is because I it's Android, it's, iOS. Okay. It's Google's thing. It's okay. kind of like the Microsoft. It's got it's the Internet Explorer okay. just to just, its. Okay. It's it's Safari to its Apple. Okay. It's all Google Chrome. I, all right. Now you can still download like Firefox if you want. That could be a separate app. That would be a separate app because it has yes. security features and yes. some other things. But I'm just I'm fine with Chrome. Okay. So but I was thinking, do I want the Twitter app? It's convenient. Do 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 do. But yeah. I can go to Twitter.com. You can. Do I want to use the whatever app? No, I can go on DoorDash.com. I can go on this.com. I can go on that.com. Like Kick, I think, doesn't have what's uh, Kick? Kick is a messaging one. I don't even have it. I don't even it's one that, like, if you type it in, you can't get, uh, there's no web browser for it. You have to download it on your phone. So okay. it's an actual app. You cannot okay. get any other way. There's no website. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So that's one where I would see. So Amazon's kind of one of those for me because I have kind of a shared account. Don't tell anybody. But if okay. I logged in with a new f computer with the, with the account information, yeah. it sends a second text to the person going, hey, did you approve that? Yes. Login thing. And it's kind of creates its own little problem. So I have the app on my phone and that stays and it doesn't re I don't have to re log in. So I'll just keep that one. Okay. All right. So those are our three. Very well done. Are you ready for the best app of the night? I am so ready. Dude. Before we call this a day, my friends, and I promise Jess, we're not going to talk during the outro. I promise. I didn't promise. Well, I'm muting you, bro. Oh no. Yeah, bro. I'm That's what I did. Unmute me. Okay. I'm okay. a professional unmute. We're going to hand slap. Yes. Like a freaking Cartman fight. <laughs> the best app ever. Go. I am rich. Yeah, you are. Not Dick. Oh. And not Richard. Oh. I am rich. What do you think this app is? A way to make money. It's that's, Amway. That's 100. Dude, the first thing you said couldn't have been more correct. Are you ready for this? Yeah. The sole purpose of the app which costs 599 pounds and 99 cents was to show people that you could afford it. No way. The app, the app was removed from the app store the day following its release. What it does is you buy it and then it puts a wallpaper thing with diamonds on it. And it says, I am rich and you pay $600 for it. And that's your way of saying I could afford Six hundred dollars and nothing. And guess what, dude? People are fucking starving in the street. I'm speechless. That's what it's like. There's like a diamond. It's yeah. fucking. It's. It's. It's frustrating, but you know, I totally get it. I'm not going to tell people to not get it. That's what. It, that's what it does. It's like to say, "Hey, I can afford a six hundred dollar app wallpaper." But that's like somebody buy, buying a Rolls Royce. Their functionality in a Rolls Royce. It's a oh, beautifully crafted true. automobile. That's true. Yeah, this, this isn't a does, fucking. The app does icon. nothing. Right. I can draw you a better picture than the fucking yeah. wallpaper. It, that, that doesn't even look like a diamond. That looks right. like a UFO. Yeah, it looks fine. like a fucking stupid red star. -y yeah, it looks like thing. a UFO. Yeah, it's dude. dumb. Anyway, they had one with like a diamonds and like weird. There it is. There. I'm oh, rich. That's what. That's, that's what it looks. I am like. stupid. I can buy anything. That's basically what it shows. So it's a diamond that reads. I am rich. I go and I know. 
the worst part of humanity. Right. And social media, right? And it's all apps. <laughs> Fuck. You and I could probably put our phones down and never, like, I'm, I'm honestly thinking of going to flip phone again. Honestly, no joke. Wow. Joke. I'm not, or not flip, but you know, like a, a basic, a non a non-screen phone? phone. Yes. A non-smartphone. I'm seriously contemplating that. Wow. Just for texting. I might have that one for like the tweeting and the other apps, but I don't want it. I'd rather have it connect to like a Wi-Fi than like a service. Okay, I don't, I'm I don't, I'm kind of over it, man. Well, and you do a lot of the tweeting from your computer too, right? I do a, more tweeting from the computer because I like my copy and paste function with my fat digits. <laughs> my, my sausage your fingers don't fingers text too well. Your fingers are not fat, dude. Bro, I type three R's when I type hi. I don't know how that how happens. Is, what? Yeah, I hit R three times when I type hi. How I don't. Is that possible? Fat. Thumbs, your fingers are not bro, fat. They're sausagey. They're not. They're sausage. It's like an effigy. It's like burned and sausagey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Mm, sausage. Well, that's been our app episode. Our Anything app else app. to add with the app, sir? Um, no, other than like, like I said, I don't. Don't really buy dumb shit. apps. Hello, Twitter world. What's your favorite app? There are some fun ones out there. True, but we just went to the shitty ones. Don't get the taxi one. The taxi don't one French is dangerous. Kiss your phone. Yeah, don't. Is, do you know where your phone's been? Look at your face. It's all wrinkly. Bro. It's all like, ew, you, like you're smelling a bad fart. Yeah, ew. like a phone wash. Hey, do you know where your phone's been? On like surfaces and in your pocket and down your crotch and... What? Where do you I, put your phone? Down my crotch. My Did you phone, not listen? My phone has never <laughs> been in my crotch, bro. Never? Not even for a junk pic? Oh, never. that's my story time I wanted to share you. Oh, shit, we got six minutes. Wrap uh, it up. six minutes? All right, bro. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Before we call it day, ladies and gentlemen, story time. When I was in my dating world, when I had all these dating apps like the Plenty of Fish, which you get what you pay for, it's free, Match, eHarmony, I would communicate with the ladies and I'd be like, hello, lady number one. My name is Mark. How are you doing today? <laughs> so as you get more in talking, then you get to exchanging maybe phone numbers and maybe your text. Yeah. And women hate the dick pic. Uh, uh, women hate the dick pic rightfully so rightfully so it is the ugliest fucking thing now don't get me wrong women don't dislike it but getting a picture of it thrown in their face no yeah no thank you uh, yeah. i don't know anyone maybe some people like it because they find it comical or something but i can't imagine someone like being like oh yeah that's the one look that's at that the dick for me yeah oh, <laughs> look at that look at that excellent circumcision job like oh it's God. just not happening so I would used to I used to text one like, "Hey, is it okay if I send a picture of my junk?" And then without before they respond, I'd send a picture of a junkyard. <laughs> like I had like a pre picture of like a car junkyard, you know, piles yes, just right. shit pile on top of each other. I would gauge whether I would go out with them on their response. It was like a not a it was like a mini IQ Ye test, yeah, but it was more like a mini like the joke response test, yeah. And how many and would how many would laugh? <sighs> One out of ten, and the other nine and did you what? Know I, you know, I texted a lot, bro. Back bro. in the day, I texted with a lot. those huge, delicious fingers, with those thumbs. You know, how many I texted four people at once with these thumbs. <laughs> it was a group <laughs> check. So nine didn't laugh. The, it would be like they didn't understand. They didn't get like you either get a chuckle or nothing. Like it's and, a junkyard. Yeah, it's like hysterical. I'm showing a picture of my junk, bro. It is the. F I thought it was the funniest fucking it's thing. It's fucking funny. It's funny maybe in our world. And maybe it's not funny in the... But as a human being, you should be able to look through the lens of someone else and go, I can see how they see it's funny. Yeah. Like, I, it's not my kind of humor. Don't pull... You know, it's not like pull my finger humor. But I can see how it has amusing parts. Therefore, I would laugh or yeah. respond positively. I didn't get as warm responses as I would have liked. Did, is that how Megzi fell for you? I may have sent, I the, think I told her about that because Megzi and I met at a much different time. Okay. Yes. Understood. Very, very fortunate. Non-junk yardy time. <laughs> very fortunate to have met Megzi. Thank you, Megzi. Go I got team wiener dogs on my mind. <laughs> I got wiener. It's funny. We both went to wieners. That's so funny. She's got the wiener dogs. Different wiener. Bro. And I, and I was thinking my wiener. Oh so. God, All right. please stop it. Well, Twitter world has been another episode of, the beer googles double e double o double g l e s boom ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna mute you are you gonna fight me off here? oh yeah all right goodbye <laughs> 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 <laughs>